Hello? Wait. Am I on? Hello? Is there anyone there or is it just me in here? Stream Monarch! Before we even got here, chat, we couldn't even get in the room. Papa LaCroix. I mean, you're not even giving me time to Papa LaCroix. How am I gonna do it with all this without popping a LaCroix? Tonight's LaCroix is black raspberry. Before we even got here and popped our LaCroix, Quantum coming hot with the Canada 69.99. Super chat saying to the victor go the spoils, Quantumania. All hail. To the monarch goes the stream. That's what I say. I'm putting CA sixty nine ninety nine just because I want to type sixty nine. There we go. Sturm coming through with the super chat. Will you pay one foristic study, Sturm? I will not. Go ahead and draw. Chat, how y'all doing? How are we doing this evening? Darth Brando, I don't know how it's pronounced. I pronounce things how I want to pronounce them. I leave the other people to ask questions. Yo, did y'all hear about this uh, store in Florida? Did y'all hear about this store in Florida? Did y'all hear about this store in Florida that has been like, I don't know if we would say it's been accused. I don't know if we would say it's been accused of anything, but this post was making the rounds on, uh, on Twitter earlier. Saffron Olive tweeted it. It's from the subreddit legal advice, which is a place to ask simple legal questions and to have legal concepts explained. User negative underscore site 955 said, I live in Florida if it ma matters. About five months ago, I got a job working at a small store selling collectible trading cards. We don't sell sports cards, stuff like Yu-Gi-Oh, Magic the Gathering, Pokemon, etc. We have a storehouse and then a warehouse, storefront and then a warehouse. Always been made to work in the storefront, this person was. They sold products, cleaned up the store, blah, 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 regular store stuff. Last week... Boss offers them an extra day of work where they'd work in the warehouse instead of the store. Said one of the guys quit, needed someone to do his job for a while. And at this point, 
he's repeatedly asking this employee can you you can we can, can we trust you can we trust you are you trustworthy without any context they had no reason to say otherwise so they said yes they took him to the warehouse and showed the new side of the job this is all alleged but it's kind of crazy. I was told to open booster boxes and tins, take out the packs, open the packs, remove any valuable cards that I find in them. I was then told to put less valuable cards in place of the more expensive ones, then hand the stack of cards and the packaging to these two other guys who would reseal the packs with glue and make it look like they had not been opened. Then all the valuable cards would be sold as singles on the online marketplaces for, in some cases, tens or even hundreds of dollars a piece. We know MTG cards. We get it. Immediately recognized it was wrong. It was a scam. Didn't didn't want to say anything out of fear of repercussion, which makes sense. Big scam like this. Got to keep it secret. If you're going to do some illegal, nasty crap like this. I found it from this tweet. And this is sort of the ongoing part of the story. I hope that I get more information about this. Because Saffron tweeted it. And then at Dynamo Nestico, who, if you're not familiar, has a store in Florida, Dynamo Collectibles, repeated, there's a very finite number of stores in Florida that I know of that also have a warehouse. And with my connections, I can figure this out in probably an hour. That was four hours ago from reading this tweet. So I'm like, ah, I want to know. Someone even called him out on it. Said, I'm talking to like five people right now. LOL. So apparently they're trying to get to the bottom of this and see if this is even true. But pretty crazy story posted on our legal advice. Went over and looked at the user as well. You can see right here, one day ago. 500 post karma from this post. Never made a comment. So it's an account that this person just created. So that kind of lines up, but really anybody could do that. What do you think? Kind of an interesting detail. Absolutely weird. Such a strange thing to come to light today. If it's true. We don't know if it's true. Yeah, the thing is, is that you could see stores doing this, right? You could see stores getting desperate it was really good time for collectibles through the whole uh pandemic times now things have sort of been on the downswing as we enter recession and so i'm really eager to find out if this is a real thing because this is the sort of crap you've got to bring this to light just really scummy to a lot of different people and it has to be where if they were, you know, reportable to wizards. I don't know who you would contact to report fraud in a business like that. Call the Better Business Bureau. But at the very least, get wizards in, in and be like, <laughs> yeah, you're banned. You're not allowed to sell our product anymore. That feels like it'd be pretty, pretty, pretty simple. If there was confirmation... But the thing is, too, is like a lot of these stores and a lot of our community are sort of perpetually online. And so this is going to be something that's like super hard to catch and hearsay. You kind of hope this employee had the foresight to like pop out a phone. Check Facebook, you know. And it sucks to have a decent job at a game store nonetheless and then get thrown into a situation against your will like that where you're just like, ugh. If I go to the cops right now, I'll probably get arrested because I'm admitting to a crime. But just thought that was an interesting little story. We'll see where it goes and see if there's any follow-up. What we're doing here tonight, though, is we're playing Commander League. If you're not familiar with Commander League, it is a monthly Commander tournament that we run here at the channel. We run. Our fantastic mods run it. Bobby Z, the commissioner of the league, and our league officials, Brody Ram and Spectre. 
They run our league. We play Commander once a week. Get assigned to a pod. There's lots of different formats. This month's format is pick a pre-con commander. Any pre-con commander ever. Build a deck around it. Week one of the month, you got to have a $100 budget. Week two, $150. Then $200. Then $250. So we're on the $100 budget month. Let me pull up my deck list here. I'll throw it in chat. Hey, what's up, Paws? Yeah, John, you gotta, you definitely want to talk to a lawyer before you go to the cops or something like that. That's just, that's a little too much. A little too much. Don't want to get too involved. Italian lad said whistleblower laws would protect an employee. I don't know anything about those, but that'd be fantastic. I see some of our competitors tonight typing in chat there let's pop over and see if we can meet up with them stern with the five dollar super chat before we swap over what is your definition of an infinite combo i think of it as a combo you can't actually stop like sanguine bond and exquisite blood yeah really anything that can go infinite if the result is infinite anything it is an infinite combo near infinite is also a thing eh, let's just call that infinite you know what i'm saying let's pop into the pod and say hey hey everyone hey -o. Hello. <laughs> everybody say hey to chat chat let me let me know if you can hear them saying hey to you all right not everybody at once can you hear me? Uh, can you hear you me? Yeah. All right. I think we can hear you on chat. Swap over and look at this game. Ooh. There we go. So as you can see, as I said, we've got a hundred dollar pre-con decks. Well, pre-con commanders built to the hundred dollar budget level. I've got to do some shuffling. So what I'm going to do real fast is tell you about my deck. Urza Chief Artificer has affinity for artifact creatures, so it costs one less for each artifact creature I control. It says artifact creatures I control have menace, and at the beginning of my end step, I create a 0-0 zero, zero colorless construct, construct artifact creature token, but this creature gets plus one, plus one for each artifact you control. That is Urza right there. Let me go ahead and do a little randomization of our... Uh, of our board here and we'll go in order i kind of went out of order there ah it's a six nice so we're gonna randomize player order <laughs> one two three four five six times hey look i still go first i think all we did was swap norcal and squatch but that's just me yeah good job dino why don't you tell us about your deck? Go in second. I'm playing Rune of the Hidden Realm, a uh, Vidge Trample 4-4 Rhino Soldier. For two and tap, I can, I can exile another target creature, return it to the battlefield under its owner's control at the beginning of the next end step. And I am uh, taking, uh, taking runs through the dungeons. Nice. A little dungeon sub theme? Yep. That's pretty cool to Dungeon include. main thing. Yeah. Zach, aka NorCal Table, playing Guillaume Master Chef. Tell us about it. Um, well, I'm just enjoying that. We're gonna rune through the dungeons today. Um, <laughs> I'm playing Guillaume. Five three, trample. That gets important from time to time. At the beginning of your end step, create a food token for each creature that entered the battlefield this turn. Pay one, sacrifice a food token, uh, target creature becomes indestructible, tap it. Um, this is just a deck that's trying to get value out of any sort of little scrap token I can create and uh, hit a giant X spell at the end, torment or exsanguinate. If that doesn't work, I'm just gonna strap him up with uh, cranial plating or a nettle cyst and start swinging. So that's what we got going on there. 
if the old big spell doesn't work hit him with the strap on exactly exactly i hear what you're saying i hear what yeah. you're saying what i hear out of our fourth players side of the table is five freaking colors it is yeah tell uh, us Jared about Castallion. it yeah uh pretty much uh planeswalker jerry Castallion. uh he's a wooberg uh pretty much i'm ignoring the last um the minus six uh on this planeswalker pretty much just making kavu tokens growing them with the plus uh plus one plus one counters from his uh, minus three ability uh, and just play big stuff and swing in for damage. That's about all this deck can do. Hey, I love playing big stuff and swinging in for damage. That's kind of my spirit animal. All right, we got the right screen on. I think we got a game ready to go. I'm going to look for an opening hand here. Y'all do the same. Chat, buckle in. Also in the room, Buzz Fuzz. Say hey to everybody. Hello, people. That voice is Buzz Fuzz, our resident house judge. What Buzz says goes. Yeah. We taught uh, him magic to today, him. so he's got the rule book in front of him, and he's trying his best. Uh, uh, I try to second seven. Their triggers. I sometimes fuck Same. up, but most of the time, I'm pretty sure I'm right. Most of the time, I'm pretty sure I'm right. Could be the subtitle of our channel, BuzzFuzz. No, you guys are wrong often. <laughs> Thanks, babe. All right. Love, Love you too, okay, bye. Later. That's BuzzFuzz. He thinks he's better than everybody. Hum, hum, hum. I'm actually going to a second seven as well. So yeah, I saw keep. somebody I saw somebody in chat talking about my clear sleeves. Oh yeah, Kraken Jank as well. So what I did, chat, this the whole deck is retro border. Every card. And so that's kind of my limitation on this build is I can't play any cards that aren't retro border. So I'm playing a sub game this month of league. And in true it's all retro frame style, I went with the double sleeved clear sleeves just for a little bit of flair. Whoever gets to see Deckmaster, right? Um, I gotta go to CX. Not since the 90s. Not since the 90s, bro. <laughs> Zach Morris back there looking at Deckmaster. That's right. <laughs> All right, I'll keep this. Zach, by the way, just finished the last, uh, the most recent episode of NorCal Table. Grats on another episode. Oh, thanks, man. Um, yeah, that one was really fun. The, uh, on the next round, I actually built a studio in my garage. So um, the next round that comes out, it'll look a lot better. Oh, shit. That sounds good. Me and you should That's chat about awesome. intros excited. and stuff. I really liked it. Okay, cool. Yeah, the All last right, one intro was a little wild. <laughs> That's good. It's a good thing. <laughs> chat, gods of magic, gods of might. Bless our blessed commander game tonight. Have Not we... so far. Going to five. Dino wow. going to five? <laughs> Oof. I'm at six. I'm at six. Dang gum. Sorry, I like my hand now. The two color green uh, deck going to six. Yeah. That's a bummer. Zach, is that the is that the project you referenced the other day? Uh maybe. Put off? Okay. Oh no, that was actual work that I was putting off to do the channel. Oh, nice. Yeah. It's a <laughs> working from home is a beautiful thing, you know? Yeah. I hope nobody from work is watching this right now. Same. <laughs> <laughs> I actually was talking to my wife last night. I was like, you know, if I if anybody at work ever Googles my name, I've got a lot of questions to answer suddenly. <laughs> yeah, they're like, what do you do? What do you, what, why, what are you streaming at noon? What what's, are you doing? What's magic? <laughs> <laughs> what are what are wizard announcement days at on Tuesday in the middle of the freaking day? 
You're like, look, I'm trying to not work here anymore. So that's what's going on. If everybody, uh, right, when you would Dino, NorCal, Squatch, it doesn't have to be right now. Heck, I'm just going to call you by the freaking username I keep saying. Sorry. Um, <laughs> yeah. If you would, you when can you can, Jack. drop your deck lists in chat for everybody to see. Oh, cool. I'll gather yeah. them from our room and put them in the description of the video later. All right. Okay, okay. Dino, you got a uh, hand? Yeah, I'm going to drop uh, one to the bottom and... Uh, Did you draw se you're drawing seven and throwing two back? Yeah. Perfect. Um, two to the bottom. All right, I'll stick with this. All right. Gods of magic, gods of might. Let's get it going. Card for turn. Go River of Tears. Nope, sorry, that's not the right one. Mist Vault Bridge tapped and pass the turn. All right, draw for turn. Uh, Forest Pass. I'm also going to draw for turn. I'm going to play a forest and I'm going to tap it for an Elvish Mystic. And then I will pass. Down to six mana, Dork. There you um, go. I'll draw for turn. I'll play a tap, Xander's Lounge, and pass it over to you, Joel. A river of Tears. A2. Ornithopter of Paradise. Say go. It's a zero right. 2 flying Drop mana turn. dork. Taps to add a mana of any color. I'm going to island for turn. And pass after that. On tap. Nothing like you. And draw. Uh... Joel, your deck really is from the 90s. It is on both sides. I'll tap two for you. a Gala Greeters. Wow. 1-1 one, one has Alliance, so creature ETBs on my side. I can choose one of the three. Put a plus one, plus one counter. Create a tap treasure token or gain two life. Uh, and all of those can only happen once a turn. And I'll pass. So I cut somebody off. I'll untap, keep in draw for turn. I will play an Exotic Orchard. I will tap that Exotic Orchard for a green and Xander's Lounge for a blue. And I will grow Spiral, so I'll draw a card. And I'm able to land onto the battlefield from my hand. And I will put a Crosen Verge, which is a slow fetch that will eventually allow me to get a uh, forest and a plains. And I will pass the turn. Untap and draw. Play Razor Tide Bridge tapped. It's an artifact land, indestructible. Pay two for Demir Signet. And I will swing at Zach for zero. First blood, got it. <laughs> Pass turn to Dino. Mm -hmm. Just the ultimate flex. All right. Draw for turn. I'm going to drop a forest and Kodama's Reach. I'm going to put a. Uh, I'm going to get a planes to the field and to my hand, and I'll pass after that. Yeah, chat. Zach met a miss first blood on his, on his last turn, but he ain't going to miss it this turn. <laughs> and yeah, still my... eligible. You want, me to, you want me to attack with this little guy? Absolutely not. <laughs> I, send my, about... I send my Ornithopter of Paradise right yes. into battle, bro. I care, I care about her too much. Uh, I'm going to tap four. I'm going to cast my commander, and then I'm going to create a tapped treasure token. Bleep. Uh, Joel, because you, because you had to talk. You son uh, of a bitch. I'll swing one of you. <laughs> God, <laughs> banned from the Discord server. Mods, get in here. <laughs> Just that's it. Uh, and so I will then go to my end step, 
Kion will trigger because a creature came in and I will create one food token. It's going to Value Town, baby. Pass the turn. All right. I want that. My name is I'll on the channel, Zach. Like, how dare you? Draw for turn. <laughs> I'm hey, there's. I know the rule. <laughs> Kill Joel first. <laughs> All right. I'm going to pay. Uh, Play a tapped jungle shrine, which is one of the Naya tapped triumphs. And then I'm going to um, pay two and tap and sacrifice the Cross and Verge. Uh, when I do that, I can search my library for a forest card and a plains card and put them under the battlefield tap and then I'll shuffle. And I will go ahead and pass the turn while I'm digging those out. Nice. Love that. Start for turn. We're going to go one, two, three. And play Chrome Courier. It's a blue and a white. It says when ETBs reveal the top two cards of your library, put one of them into your hand and the other into the graveyard. If an artifact card put in your hand, gain three life. So we're revealing. We re reveal Armix, Filigree Thrasher, and Scrap Trawler. Schematic version. What up? Mm -hmm. schematic, hey. schematic foil. You can't tell. How are you doing? Mm. Uh, we're going to put Armix, Filigree Thrasher into my hand. <clears throat> Scrap Trawler, strangely enough, into the graveyard. I'm going to gain three life. Ding, dong, ding. Land for turn is going to be Demir Aqueduct, Returning River of Tears. And that's going to do it for me. Pass turn to Dino. Alrighty. Untap. Draw for turn. Uh, planes land for turn. And I'm going to go five for my commander. Rune of the Hidden Realm. Here comes Rune. And I'll pass after that. Alright. Untap. Nothing on the upkeep intro. Feel free to bounce my Chrome Courier just as much as you want. Um, You got it. I will go one green and a black, two, three, four for a Marin of Clan Nell Toth. Ooh, brutal. Trigger. Oh. Tapped treasure. So when another creature I control dies, I gain an experience counter. The beginning of your end step, choose, which my graveyard is empty. Choose target creature card in your graveyard. If it's converted, mana cost is less than or equal to the number of experience counters I have, I return it to the battlefield. Otherwise, put it into my hand. Um, I'm going to go to combat. Yep. I'm going to, I'm, I'm swinging at rune. Five. Uh, Hoi. Hoi three. Five, three, uh, trample. Can... Yep. Do you have mana open? I do. And do you have a food? I do. Looks like I'm taking five. That's a chunk of commander damage from the master chef. That's a big chunk. Uh, I will create, I'll move to my end step and I will create another food token and I'll pass. All right. I will untap. Upkeep and draw for turn. Chad, I, I appreciate will... everybody hanging out tonight. I, uh, I'm not as chatty when we're playing a game of commander. I'm sitting here focused. So I appreciate everybody chilling. Talk amongst yourselves. <laughs> Uh, play a tap sunken hollow and then um, I'm gonna pay Wooberg. Oh god, here we go, king of Ooh. all kings <laughs> for a uh, maelstrom nexus. Not even Jared Carthalian, <laughs> love it. And I will pass the turn. 
Hang on, I gotta know what this one does. Will you read this one to us? Uh, the first oh, spell I play each turn has Cascade. Sweet mother of maelstroms. What's it called? Nexus? There it is, Chad. Uh, yeah. There you Austin go, Chad. Nexus. Take a look. Look on it and despair. My turn. Hard for turn. So Dino Zach, we agree that Nexus is probably going to be a problem, right? I, I would agree to that. Cascade's pretty good. Looking at the table but right now, think... you know, Rune can get out of Man, hand, no but Dino's got kind of a got kind of a slow start like me. Zach's popping off. Zach, how many cards in your hand? I have uh, four in hand. Oh wow! Still got some cards in hand. Been developing. A lot of other values. Just all, the they're board. all just little trinkets. Yeah. They're just little trinkets. Yeah. You know? They're little nothings. How are we gonna deal with this? <clears throat> I'm in my own little world over here. <laughs> <laughs> Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, Marin can be bad for sure. I know. But uh, there's nothing. There's nothing doing. You know. All right, we're going to play Temple of Enlightenment. Tapped, scry one. I'm going to keep that on top. I'm going to go black, blue, white. Black, blue with the Demir Aqueduct and white with the Razor Tide Bridge. And then one more to use Urza's affinity for artifacts to cast him. Oh my god. Uh, affinity Boy. for artifact creatures. <laughs> Isn't one, everybody two. else a problem? Let me make these giant constructs. That's what I heard. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, I don't know what you have against old guys, but <laughs> the ageism has to stop. That's, that's what I heard. There is Urza Chief Artificer Chat. Got affinity for artifact creatures, so he costs two less, so he costs four that time. So I went one, two, three, and then fourth on my Ornithopter. Temple of Enlightenment came in tapped. Artifact creatures I control have menace, and at the beginning of my end step, create a zero, zero colorless construct artifact creature token. With this creature, gets plus one, plus one for each artifact you control. So, too many. We are just going to. We are going to move to our end step. Create a construct yep. and start counting. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six, six construct. Not bad. And that passes my turn. Hey, if everybody right. else is going to present some threats, I'm like, all I'm right, tapped, I'll bro. present threats. Fine, let's go. <laughs> it's the time. Uh, island land for turn. That mills from Nexus is going to get out of hand quick. Um. I will tap three and play Eccentric Apprentice. Uh, ETB, I will venture into the dungeon. It is a flying 2-2. Two -two. And at the beginning of combat on my turn, if I've completed a dungeon, up to one target creature becomes a bird with base power and toughness 1-1 one, one, and flying until end of turn. Hmm. Interesting. Um, and if it, 
And if it lands, I'm going to venture into Lost Mine of Fandelver. Yeah, Scry sure. I don't, I don't have a response to that. All right. Now I'm finally putting together gonna... what a rune dungeon deck has to do. Yeah. Yes, yes. And then I'll scry that to the bottom. Didn't really connect and for me at first. I like it, though. Yeah, a lot of... Uh... ETB venture into the dungeon triggers in Vant colors. Green underrated dungeon color. It's a lot of dungeon yeah. stuff in green. Oh yeah. Is that me? Uh, I almost called you. Yep. Dino. All right. <laughs> Untap. Uh, nothing on the upkeep. Huh. All right. Let's be a land. Whew. Never didn't have it. Never. Got him. <laughs> have it <laughs> just like the plan was set yeah. the plan was executed all right so i'm oh, sorry we will just do this uh one two three four five and we'll crack one of these for six we got two black right here for a marionette master oh god uh, oh my lord i will uh put the three plus one plus one counters on her I will uh, create a tapped treasure token mm -hmm. and then I will move to combat and I will move Where through combat. What's oh, that? Right, the, yeah. No, nothing. I remember where the treasure came from. I will move through combat because everything is horrifying <laughs> and I will just go ahead and pass the turn. Everything is scary. Yeah, absolutely was, terrifying. I'll untap the casual keep a draw for turn. Just the casual marionette master. What? Uh, don't forget you make a food. Oh, yes. Thank you. There's right. our judge. Good There's for more than just guy. judging. He's our trigger man. <laughs> Let's see. Casual here. more artifacts. Um. All right. Let's uh, go ahead and do it. I'm going to pay Wooberg. To attempt to cast Jerry Carthalian. Resolves on my side. Yeah, yeah I got it. Okay. I'm good. Uh, so now that I do play my first spell, I'm going to Cascade. So I'm looking for something that is four mana value or less. All right. Explore. There it's we go. Exile. I'll go ahead and play it. Uh, I can play an additional land this turn and I draw a card. So I will draw a card. So, chat, Squatch there in the bottom left just played their commander, Jared Carthalian, five color walker from what was it, Dominaria United last year? Yep, it is. Yeah. And then cascaded off of Maelstrom Nexus, which was on the battlefield, into an explorer. So... And me and Dino and Zach all went, oh, thank God. Yeah. So I will play <laughs> tap cinder glade for my land for a turn. Yeah, and yeah. then with my, with my additional uh, land, I'll play a tapped canopy vista. And then I will go ahead and uptick um, Jared Carthalian. So his plus one ability reads uh, create a 3 3 Kavu creature token with trample that's all colors. So I'll go ahead and create that creature token. Is that the actual token? It is. Nice. Extra points. And I will... Bobby, if you're in chat, turn. maybe that should be extra points in the league. My turn. Here we go. Ooh. Everybody just be playing token decks. Yeah. Perfect turn. Island. <laughs> All right, let's go to 
Let's go to attacks. Attack step. Yep. I'm going to push at. I'm going to push at Jared Carthalian. It's got menace. Ooh. All right. Bye bye. I'm going to go punch the king in the face with the construct. <laughs> such a menacing construct one two three four five oh, yeah. so second main i'm going to float uh i'm gonna float a black with ornithopter of paradise and then i'm gonna pay one two three four five including one white and we're gonna go ahead and do it we're just gonna go urza's ruinous blast and exile all non-land permanents that aren't legendary all right. Uh, in response to in me casting that. Response. Hang on, I'm, I'm oh, holding yeah. holding priority. I should have said that differently. I wasn't expecting this to get advanced tonight. <laughs> uh, I'm just going to go ahead and float mana with my signet. So I've got two black and one blue floating. All right, to you, okay. to you Dino. <clears throat> I'm going to uh, flicker my eccentric apprentice. Yep. I am going to, all I can do is uh, crack a treasure and deal four to you, Joel. Four to me, take it four. Yep. Squatch. Squatch anything on your side? Nope. All right, clearing the board. Yep. And these are exiled. Yep. There's no dies, triggers. There's no nothing. These all go away. Yep. Good play. I buy Nexus. Construct dies. Legendary stay though. Okay, yeah, you still got Marin. You still got Guillaume. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In room. All right, with my three floating, I'm gonna go Armix Filigree Thrasher. EOT a construct. Constructs gonna uh, get created. Oh, sorry. Didn't you say you had two floating? Uh, no, I had three floating. Two from the Signet and one from the. Uh, Ornithopter of Paradise. Okay. Um, Armix resolves. Looks like it. Yeah. And then yep. we'll go to EOT and we'll go one, two, three, four, four. Construct. All right. Uh, my eccentric apprentice will re-enter, and I will create a one-one red goblin. Beautiful. Uh, Armix, by the way, chat, whenever it attacks, I can discard a card. When I do, target creature defending player controls gets minus X minus X until end of turn where X is the number of artifacts I control plus the number of artifact cards in my graveyard. And Dino, yeah, yeah, that was that was all EOT, so you. All right. Untap. Draw for turn. It's not a completely feels bad board wipe, chat. Oh, I'm build very around upset. it a little bit a little bit yeah you were you had a little too much going on over there <laughs> um, yours was one pass around the table of nobody touching you again to just absolutely re go on ridiculous was, it was gonna look really good next turn was gonna look very nice for me <laughs> everybody was like yeah just keep creating treasures and food nobody cares <laughs> marionette master on the battlefield nobody cares there's just nothing there's just nothing yeah, here. No big deal. yeah. um I'm going to pay three for find the path, enchanting my island. Find the uh, path. When it enters the battlefield. Yes, when it enters the battlefield, I venture into the dungeon and the enchanted land has tap, add two green. Every day, chat, there's a card I've never seen in my life and I'm like, oh yeah, that's not that bad. I like that. And I will put a... Um, I will have each opponent lose one life, and I will gain one life as I enter the dark pool. Ooh. Froze. Um, and then I will tap the island for two green. Blasphemy. And I will foretell this card. Could be anything. Could be a boat. Could even be a boat. Damn it, Zach. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then I'll go to combat. 
And uh, Zach, do you have any flies? I do, I do not. All right, I'm going to fly over for two. I'll take it. And then I will pass the turn. All right, untap. Sad untap. <clears throat> Draw. <laughs> this could work. I will tap this swamp for a soul ring. That'll help you rebuild. That'll be nice. And then this will also help me rebuild uh, two green and three for a shared summons. Oh, Ooh. search library for up to two cards with different names, reveal them, put them into your hand and then shuffle. I know this is an instant, but I'm going to shuffle and stuff, try to speed up the game. So Appreciate I will. It. Nobody yell at him, chat. It's just a Don't casual yell. instant during I his main phase. Relax. What we're doing. <laughs> he responded to having a main phase. Relax. <laughs> I, get, I get it. Um, and I will find them and then pass the turn. All right, Squatch. All right, I'll untap all my real estate. Feels like you've got caught in the crossfire of me trying to keep other people at bay. Draw for turn. I did attack your planeswalker, though, and I'm not very sorry about it. It's all good. <laughs> um, I'll play a mountain. Basic mountain? That is immediately the worst card in your deck. <laughs> Basic mountain. Live in its dream oh. in the five color deck. Okay, let's see here. Let's see if I have enough to do this. Um, uh, <laughs> Zach, <laughs> Zach, you went and got Value Town. <laughs> I was like, what win yeah. count is he going oh, for? You boy. were like, no, 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 baby. No, this deck does one engine. thing. Engine. Token it makes engine. Yeah. So those go into your hand? Okay. Or onto the battle. Yeah, they go to my hand. Sure, some oh, no, into my hand. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I just, I just wanted to let the people see. Oh, yeah. Appreciate Academy it. Rector and Tireless Provision in <clears throat> chat. All right. I'm going to start off... Uh, uh, playing Wooberg for Not Chromanticore. Rector. What is it called? Manufactor. Oh, Manufactor. So, Chromanticore. Yep, so Chromanticore um, has a bestow cost if I wanted to pay that, but or to cast it that way. But no, I'm not. So this is just a 4-4 uh, four, four with flying, first strike, vigilance, trample, and lifelink. Casual. And, and then I will uh, pay for a... A blue, a black, a red, and a green for a Glint Eye Nephilim, which is whenever Glint Eye Nephilim deals combat damage to a player, draw that many cards. And I will pass the turn. <laughs> it's so, this game is crazy. Dude, the five color deck is just spitting out ridiculous shit. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh. You said my go? It's your go. Oh my God, dude. River of Tears. Is there a tear in your beer? Yes, actually. Thank you for asking. <laughs> uh, well, hey, cat. Four, four and a two two runes over there nick baker with the super chat 10 bucks coming through says late to the party but i hope everyone's having a good night nick baker thank you very much we are we got a crazy game going on over here let's do a little recap Thanks, real fast since it just got back to me we're at the turn of top of turn like eight or nine at this point right now on the battlefield i have got chief artificer Armix filigree and a construct token. Two artifact lands down there amongst all my lands. Dino's got his rhino. Chillin'. Also got a flyer that's helping him delve and a goblin. 
that came from the lost mine, right? Yeah. Zach is over here. Guillaume it up. Also got Marin casually lurking. Everything got exiled though. So Marin's like, ah, what do I know? Also got a soul ring ready to, ready to do some damage. And Squatch over here sitting on every color of land he needs to cast not only Chromanticore, but Glint Eye Nephilim in the same turn. <laughs> Absolutely bonkers. I just untapped, so I got to do a turn here. Tab five. I'm gonna play Ether Sworn Adjudicator. Ether Sworn Adjudicator is a five mana four four Vidalcan Knight. It's got flying. It's got pay a black a white and one tap it destroy target creature or enchantment. It's also got one blue two to untap Ether Sworn Adjudicator. It's just a good friend. That's all it is. It is an artifact though. Bumps my construct up to a five five. <clears throat> All right, I'm going to move to attacks. Yep. My construct is going to go at Zach. Five minutes coming at you here. And then Armix is going to attack Squatch. Holding there on the attacks here. Armix's ability is going to trigger. I'm going to discard a card. I'm going to discard Prairie Stream. To give target creature defending player controls minus x minus x until in a turn i'm just going to target your chromanticore with uh minus five minus five off of armix okay and then you got three minutes coming at you off of armix and uh zachary you got five minutes coming at you with the construct and that's my attacks i'm gonna take the five take the three taking five taking three dino your turn uh, yeah, when you go to second main, I'm going to flicker uh, Eccentric Apprentice. Sure. EOT, another right. construct, <clears throat> enters the battlefield. Yep. Uh, DOE ETB, oh. uh, venture into the Temple of Dumathoin and draw a card. Completing the dungeon. End of that one's draw a card. I was waiting for a shooter drop. Gotcha. Yep. Not not super familiar with the dungeons. I need to know those better. Oh, fair enough. Uh, so I'll untap Chat, draw what card. is going on? Joel's being merciless. Joel's after Squatch. Come on. I'm playing my game over here. <laughs> we all know Squatch has a printout of my face on his wall and he throw, dar throws darts <laughs> at it. We already knew this. <laughs> Joel's a bully. Kill Joel. Y'all are the bullies, man. <laughs> I'm sorry. I thought we came here to compete. I'm sorry. I didn't know we came here to sing Kumbaya. I'll go get my ukulele. God. I would really enjoy that. I would, I would really enjoy that. <laughs> Me too. A nice campfire and a cigar right now. Oh, actually, I, might, I did a I cigar might. last night. You know how you have a you have a good night with a beer and a cigar, and then you just kind of taste that cigar all the next morning too, and you're like, ah, I didn't really sign up for the morning after thing. <laughs> you're like, why was it so much better last yeah, night? I why is it like this, this right now? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I loved this, and now I hate it. I just want to taste my Cheerios. Yeah. Ugh. <laughs> 
Um, I'm going to tap four and cast Teleportation Circle. Oh, jeez. Wow. At the beginning of my end step, I can blink one target artifact or creature I control. Um, He's going to complete 12 dungeons. Look at him. <laughs> um... Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, I will. If any mods are watching, oh, I see Spectre. Spectre, a good one for our bounties would be complete a certain number of dungeons in a game, like a crazy number. That'd be a fun one for people to go after, especially in one of our maybe like yeah, all if bounty you want to, months. If you want to employ that this month, I'd be happy with that. You know what? Retroactively, <laughs> we're going to go and add it. You know what? Let's just go ahead and give Dino 15 points. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I'll go to combat and uh, trigger Eccentric Apprentice, making Ether Sworn Adjudicator a 1 1 bird with flying until end of turn. Let me remind myself what this card does. It's for chat's benefit. It's for chat's yeah. benefit, not for mine. All good, all good. This is for chat. <laughs> chat's asking, what does that bird card do again? What's it called? I can't click on it. <laughs> Ex ex eccentric apprentice here it is chat go ahead and read it gotcha okay perfect it's a one one all right um and then i believe that's the only flyers you have over there then that's correct all right then i will fly over for two uh, don't poke the bear for two damage i never forget <laughs> you wanted that to be a kill shot if you were gonna poke at me <laughs> um and then i will go to second main end of turn trigger teleport circle on eccentric apprentice enters the battlefield and i will venture into here it comes chat a dungeon of the mad mage oh this is a good one that's um, the big bad yeah yeah so i will go to the yawning portal and gain one life yawning portal <sighs> and pastor I see what you did there. Untap. Nothing on the upkeep. Draw. Okay. We're going to do what we planned on doing. Two and a green <laughs> for a tireless provisioner. And then one, two, three more for an academy manufacturer. Here they come. I'm going to go ahead and uh, move through combat. Uh, through my second main, if anybody wants to do anything, into my end step. And I will make two foods, two treasures, and two clues. Yup. And that'll be my turn. All right. Nice rebuild, bro. Mm -hmm. We're back. We're back, everybody. My goodness. Brian, Untap. I appreciate... Brian, Joseph, and I appreciate you rooting Untap. for me. Draw. Sorry, how many foods and treasures are you making? Two. Two. Shouldn't. No, every no, time you. Every time you, every uh, time you make a clue for a treasure, you create all three. Yes. And, 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 and Guillaume reads at the end of turn, it's for. Uh, I create the number of creatures that e that entered the battlefield. Sorry, I thought it was a ETB with the tireless provision, but it's a landfall. Never mind. Yes, yes, yes. All right, yeah, I'm going to play the thing I got exiled. a Rocky Tar Pit tapped, which is a slow fetch. Then um, I'm going to go ahead and I had to remember what my foretold card was. I am going to. Um, Activate when on Ephraim, uh, I'll pay one and discard a card. I'll discard a Faber Elder and it'll get, uh, when on Ephraim will get plus one, plus one until end of turn. And then um, I'm going to pay a black, green, white, and two other, excuse me. Go back to this again. 
Okay. Black. We'll do black, black. White. One, two, three, four. That's seven, man. So, yep. I'm going to mutate Nethroy on uh, Apex of Death. <laughs> On top of Glen I Nephilim. Holy shish. So, so I will attempt to do that unless there's any responses. Can you tell us what that uh, yes. that ends up being? Hey yep. Rune. So, hey Rune, uh just wanna point something out. You bounce that glint eye. Oh Nethroy comes in as a five five death touching life linker. Still a thing, just not like a thing. That's true. Um, just pointing out things that you earlier could got, do. All his stuff earlier got exiled, so I don't even know what's in his <sighs> yard at the Shit. moment that Nethroy could hit. <laughs> I have Chromanticore and Faber o Elder. Two very strong cards. So you get... Yeah, Faber o is a uh, tap to add mana, and then of course the Chromanticore is the flyer. Uh, Little Atraxa. I'm telling you. Those are two very strong cards right now. I'm not putting any pressure hand, on you. Zach definitely is, but I'm not. And I'm just saying it's a thing you could do. You know? <laughs> that's true. That's true. Um, I don't know. I, I, I agree with chat. I feel like Squatch has been picked on a little bit. I oh, know, not my God. <laughs> All right. Hey, we're having fun. We're I'll having go fun. get my yeah. binky. <laughs> so does, I'm, I'm assuming it's going to resolve then. <laughs> yeah, it's resolving. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so when it mutates, return any number of target creature cards with total of power 10 or less from the graveyard to the battlefield. I will get a Faber or Elder, which will now, uh, it, it'll get plus one, plus one for each color among permanents you control. Um, and then I will also get a Chromanticore. So troop, Faber or Elder will be a 5-5. Five, five. And then Chromanticore. Um, that's all I can get out of the yard. Um, I don't see there being any good attacks. So I'm just going to sit back and um, hang out. So I'll pass the turn. Nice turn. Alrighty. Nice turn. Yeah, I, I was cruel last yeah. night. I yeah, I can't believe they've been coming after you like this, Squatch. We'll try and, I'll try and make this in a way where you can get a board state again because they've been real bullies to you. <laughs> <laughs> us bleeding heart magic players yeah exactly can't believe y'all would treat my buddy my buddy squatch <laughs> like that y'all are ridiculous thanks chat um okay move to attacks yep I'm attacking with Armix at Dino. Yep. I'm attacking at I'm attacking at Zach with two constructs. So on attacks on attack hang on just a second before we start moving to blockers. On the trigger here, on the attack, Armix, I'm going to discard a card. I'm discarding Master of Ethereum. And I'm going to give Rune minus six, minus six. Yep. Uh, in response. Yeah. Uh, um... Um, in response, I'll do nothing. So he will pass on. <laughs> oh, um, that, was, that was really <laughs> sad, actually. <laughs> I'll, I'll, flicker, I'll flicker the apprentice Hang on. in response. Hang on, just a second. <laughs> Oops, sorry, sorry, sorry. In response yep, to yep, putting yep. Rune's ability on the stack, targeting yep. that thing, I'm going to pay one, two, three and destroy the eccentric apprentice oh my god nice. nice play um 
Sorry, how are you destroying yeah. it? Ether Sworn Adjudicator's ability to pay three and destroy oh, target creature or enchantment. Right. Okay. Got it. Brutality. All right. In there. Attacks are coming in then. Those are the attacks. Declare your blocks. I'm going to declare uh, Guillaume and Marin to one of the constructs. Sure. And then I'm going to uh, sack these two treasure for two mana, to sack these two food, to tap these guys and make them indestructible. Oh, beautiful. Me reading Guillaume again. Pay one, sack of food, <laughs> target creature gains indestructible. Nice. What's their, their power is definitely over six. So you kill one. Yes. You take kill six. Kill one, I take six. And then Armix coming in for three. Dino, it's got menace. That goblin's not going to help you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 34. Beautiful. Second main. Yep. One blue for thought cast. Draw two cards. It's got affinity for artifacts. One, two, three, four, five. Then actually at five right now. And then I will move to end step, create a construct. Pass the turn. Alrighty. Y'all, this Urza deck does Untap. things. It's crazy. Draw. Yeah. Command tower land for turn. And Chad, I'm probably overexerting right now. I'm really trying to just showcase what this thing can do. But I had to make that rune play. I didn't anticipate the food thing like I should have. I'm not as familiar with okay. Guillaume. But rune was getting out of hand. Um... I'll tap this island for two green. Uh, use a white. Um, and I'll leave one green floating and cast Rite of Harmony. Whenever a creature or enchantment enters the battlefield under my control this turn, I draw a card. What's it called? Rite of Harmony. Rite as in ritual, not as in correct. <laughs> Got it. I found it. You're good to go. Oh, it's gotcha. one of these. Okay. Yeah, dude. Every time I feel like I go back and I see a couple of singles from Midnight Hunt and I'm like, I just ignored this set basically. But I see yep. cards like this and I'm like, this is actually really good. Yeah, I do that with uh, that those couple uh, sets and Nuka Penna. Yeah. I really? love Nuka Penna. Chad, I just Terrible dropped my experience, uh, and then but good time. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Oh, dude. Oh, yeah. No, no, no. You're good. I um I loved New Capenna's aesthetic, man. That's one of the planes where I wish that we were in the old ways where we would spend three different parts of the story across three different yeah. sets oh, on a plane. I, I would have loved yeah. to have seen New Capenna really like introduced in its golden age with angels, and then we see the fall and the takeover by the demon crime families, and then the Frixian invasion after that. I think that would be that would have been Super it's sweet. Just, just a super super cool plane even the short story about like what hey what halo was was still very good right you know yeah exactly yeah, yeah. Um, all right so i still have a floating green from when i from find the path which i'm going to use to play lanawar elves so uh, draw draw off right et yep yeah it's yep, right yep, off the yep. right off the utb um and then for one uh two three i'm going to cast cultivate um i'm gonna find i don't know <laughs> i guess uh <laughs> two more islands there's one it's called the yolo cultivate and... chat yeah <laughs> <laughs> just get it out of the way <laughs> chat i dropped my deck list there in chat that's what i'm playing today the t the prints of cards aren't correct because all the cards in this deck are retro frame but 
the cards are correct and the budget we go by lowest budget of any doesn't matter which version of the card you play all right um and then i'm gonna go to combat no attacks second main uh go to end of turn trigger teleportation circle on the lanawar elves because right of mm -hmm. harmony yep. uh is until the end of my turn i'll draw another card nice how many cards in hand now four nice so it's like fill up your hand move not so much like crazy combo off move yeah 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 just a little something extra to help the draws play right of harmony it's one of the nice create things infinite about... tokens draw your deck win the game yeah and what's nice is because right of harmony is one of those cards that a lot got overlooked a lot it's still like super cheap so right. can still be used in broken ways um but yeah they'll be done after that i made the mistake of like specking on those being like oh my god these are going to be so much and they have not approached <laughs> where they were released <laughs> so, so you know i what did I do that with? I did that with, um, there was a card in Modern Horizons 2. It gave your, uh, I feel like it gave creatures plus one, plus one. And when a green creature entered the battlefield, you got to scry so one. an anthem. Yeah, and I was like, there's no way this isn't gonna be like legit. And sure enough, nothing. It was not. Uh, I'm gonna play a Timeless Witness, targeting my shared summons, put it back into my hand. I'm gonna just sit here like a scared baby and move to my end step, uh, create the... Hey. What's that? Poop your pants? I'm gonna poop my pants. Having a value oh, engine just... at work and not playing anything is not sitting. Yeah. Hey, just let me be here with my poopy pants and uh, we, will, <laughs> we will go ahead and pass the turn. All right, I'll untap. <laughs> All right, I will draw for turn. Um, I will, um, uh, hell, why not? Um, me. I will, uh, play a three visits. Nice. We'll get a forest, put on the battlefield, shuffle. I don't know what we're going to cast with all this mana, but I'm very excited. <laughs> I'm very excited for yeah. this. <laughs> Manriel, what's up? Just remember who didn't blink your creature. <laughs> yeah, I'm not. Like I said, I'm just here in my own little bubble right now. Yeah. Chad, if oh, you're just like... joining us, we're playing a game of our Commander League. Our uh, channel, our Discord has a Commander League that we run through the Patreon. Got prizes every month. Play proxy friendly. Play over spell table from the comfort of your home. If you are interested in joining, just type in exclamation point league and you'll get a link to our Discord, link to our Patreon. You can go over there, check it out. See if you want to be a part of the community. Um, I'll go ahead and get rid of this Rocky Tar Pit. Later, Tar Pit. Get a swamp for a mountain. Your accent uh, is perfect for saying Rocky Tar Pit, by the way. <laughs> I'll get a swamp. And it comes in untapped. Oh, nice, nice foil swamp there. What is that? Is that a forest behind mm -hmm. it that's foil as well? Yeah. Oh yeah, somebody in chat said nice foil forest. Okay. Um, I haven't actually played my land for a turn. So we'll go ahead and do that. I'll play a tapped arcane uh, sanctum. <laughs> <laughs> um, How many cards in I'm, your hand? I have no nothing. Hand empty. 
and empty. So <laughs> I, now I'm going to go ahead and uh, attempt to cast my commander again, Jerry Carthalian. This time for seven. I'm going to go ahead and pay that. Red, green, black, white, blue, and um, two other. Does that resolve? No response. No response. Nothing for me. All right. Um, I will go ahead and down ticket three. Uh, so it'll have two loyalty remaining. Uh, so my minus three is choose up to two target creatures for each of them. Put a number of plus one, plus one counters on it, equal to the number of colors it is. Whoa. So hmm. I'll put five plus one, plus one counters onto Chromanticore. And then... Um, this is a question, I guess, for Buzz. Does the color identity matter at all for Nephilim? Oh, Jesus. Under- it's a mutate question. Everybody stand back. <laughs> it's going to be okay. <laughs> so if you were going to do it on Nethroi, it would just get plus three, plus three. Okay, that's fine. That's what I want to make sure I understood before I misspoke. So, Buzz, did you get... pull up the mutate rules when Nethroi came out? No, I know that. Gotcha. Awesome. So- and then um i will uh go ahead and move to combat finally um i'm gonna swing uh the chromanticore over uh towards the guyome and treasure man so that'll be nine in the air with first strike, vigilance, trample, and lifelink. Squatch. I don't I don't know why you would do this to me. You got Mr. Six Six over there. He killed your planeswalker. But uh looks like I gotta take it. I have nothing in the air. Alright, you'll take nine. I will gain nine. Looks like I'm gonna have to actually use food to gain life. What are we what are we even doing here? That's what it says on the token. That's what it's supposed to do. <laughs> and uh I'll, I'll move to my end of turn and pass it. Alright, my turn. Our for turn. Oh sheesh. Wow, 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 wow. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, hey, oh, hey, hey. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh. Squatch, squatch, squatch. <laughs> you know, a lot of business going on over there. I mean, I could have been more spiteful and, you know, came after you. That so. is true. That is true. I just see those all those treasures and clues getting... Did I just become the punching bag? Everybody's just going to be nice to each other now? Except for me? I've been nice to everybody this whole game. <laughs> What are we doing here?
All right. Ay, ay, ay. Ay, ay, ay. Mamma mia. <laughs> Here we go. Yeah, I just <laughs> don't know. Out of curiosity, Squatch, did you attack with Nethroy? No, I did it was not. Just Chromantic just Chromantic or... Or... Okay, cool. Two white, three, four, five, six, and God help us all. Oh boy. <laughs> We're gonna play austere command. Oh my god. Because I'm the only one in this game that runs any <laughs> freaking interaction, y'all! Come on! Oh. Someone play a removal spell! <laughs> Alright, let's see what we got here. You're not wrong. We are going to... Ugh. We're going to destroy all creatures with mana four or greater. And, hang on, let me say the other one before you start telling me what you're going to do. We're also going to destroy all enchantments. So all Not creatures artifacts. with mana value four or greater. No. Nah. All creatures <laughs> with mana value four or greater and all enchantments. Okay. Alrighty. In response. Yeah, hang on. There's going to be some responses, uh, Squatch. Yeah, use command tower for white to play my foretold card, Cosmic Intervention. Nice. It literally was a boat. It was a boat. <laughs> <laughs> It was a boat! <laughs> oh if a permanent God. you control would be put into a graveyard from the battlefield this turn, exile it instead. Return it to the battlefield under its owner's control at the beginning of the next end step. Nice. So that and your land enchantment, you'll get to do your thing again. Yep. I'm gonna tap to... Right. Uh, oh, sorry. Go ahead. No, I'm just saying this is now on top of stack. I'm going to tap two. Spectre, can two. you help San Fran fan there? Yep. Crack two foods, uh -huh. and I'm going to make these two. I'm going to make these two uh, indestructible. Yeah. Oh, no, these don't die. These two. Yeah. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. four or greater. Yes, these two. Thanks, Joel. <laughs> I know, pal. I know. Tap to hit the office. Attack step. Yep. So these are exiled. These are tapped. Or er... yeah, these are tapped. One construct. One construct goes at. Hmm, these don't have menace anymore. What's the power toughness on that Fabro Elder? Uh, it is now oh five five. Still, because Jared is a uh, has will burn. No, no, no. With the counter suit. Oh, did you put counters on it? No, it's just it's a zero zero. So I just put a five. Oh, I see. Five. I see. Okay, 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 okay. I see. Okay, well, I gotta attack you with. Yeah, I gotta attack you with, uh... Armix and Construct are going at Squatch. This Construct is going at Zack. 
Armix trigger. I'm going to discard Relica Progenitus and give Fabra Elder minus five, minus five until end of turn. All right. It dies. And I will take with the tireless provisioner. Oh, the Armix was going at your Jared and the 6-6 six, six constructs going at your life. Sure. And you're blocking this? Yes. With I just lost my provisioner, yeah. That's my turn. Pass. All right. Um, I get the teleportation circle and find the path back. Path will go back on this island. I'll enter Joel, the dungeon. Was... Scrying one. Joel, that was six, right? Uh, six from the construct, yeah. And then three on uh, oh, Jared. Jared. Okay. Thanks. Sorry, pal. I'm going to leave this on top. I know I've just been, kind of been wiping you off the board every single turn. Draw for turn. It is what it is. Uh, island land for turn. And Dean, uh, one, two, two green. Island, plains, forest, five total. Going for Lavinia of the 10th. Oh man. Uh oh. Are we all detained? <laughs> Hate oh, it when you see legendary Azorius <laughs> creatures, right? <laughs> when ETB detain each non land permanent your opponent's control with CMC four or less. Until my next turn, those permanents can't attack or block, and their activated Ooh. abilities can't be activated. I got detained. Until um. the end of. It's until Til my next turn. Until your next turn, guys. Oh, uh, well, we lost you. Uh, I got detained. I got detained. Oh my God, Zach has been detained. Somebody <laughs> call the. <laughs> I don't know who to call. Call the president. He got swatted. Um. Da, 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 da. Um. Those are my detention counters, chat. Jeez, I don't know. Um, I'll go to combat. <laughs> We're gonna swing two at Joel. Yeah, get him. <laughs> two at a time. Now you've made an uh, enemy to... of me. <laughs> I will go to second main phase, go to uh, beginning of end of turn. I'll blink uh, the land war elves. And past turn. I was going to spare you. I'm so... <laughs> I'm so incredibly detained right now. This is... <laughs> this is crazy. Dude, right? <laughs> um, hey, okay. by the way, I see some people joining the uh, Patreon to jump into the league. I really appreciate that. Uh, Ryan F. and Quantum, thank y'all for joining the Patreon here tonight. Chat, if any of y'all want to jump into the league, just go join the Patreon at any level. Tons of other perks over there. League is just one of them. All right, Zach. Sorry, I had to sell for a second. No, no, no. You're good. I love the pitch. Um, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to cast Miss Fortune Teller. She's a 3-1 nice. death touch. That's A, from Capenna, baby. And uh, when she ETBs or deals combat damage to a player, exile target card from a graveyard, uh, create a 2-2 black rogue if it's creature, uh, if it's a land, a treasure token, or gain three life. Uh, Squatch, what is a very scary creature that you have in your graveyard right now? Um, Nethroy and Chromanticore. Joel, do we do Nethroy? Oh, you want to talk some shit about about shutting Squatch down? Hell yeah, that's my shit. <laughs> that's your that's your that's your whole game. <laughs> what do you think? Is it Nethroy? Um, out of the graveyard over there. <laughs> oh my god. The Nethroy gives me the biggest heebie jeebies. I hate Chromanticore, but it can just be knocked down. Typically that Nethroy comes in with like two or three things. Oh, Alright, yeah, so let's uh let's get that Nethroy out of there. Sure. And I have a rogue token somewhere that I'll find in a moment, but it'll be a zombie right now. And then, I mean, everything else is detained. So I will go to my end step. Whoopsie. <laughs> uh, Buzz, if I stack the triggers, yeah, triggers of Marin before Guillaume, does Guillaume see the thing? Oh, it doesn't even come back to the yard, so it doesn't matter. But that's a good question. 
Uh, so first you would get a Marin trigger because the creature entered the battle. No, it's when it dies. Sorry, what was your question? So there's two at the beginning of upkeep triggers. And if I uh, Marin can put a creature onto the battlefield, she can't right now because I don't have enough experience counters. But if she could, would and I did this, would Guillaume see this if I did her trigger first, or would I just get the two from the creatures that came in? Uh, yes, yes. Okay, you perfect. Would get foods. Perfect. Okay, so uh, I'll move to end step. I took the uh, trigger, timeless witness, put it back into my hand. And then food, we make two, which means we make two of all three because of our guy. So I will Excellent. pass the turn. All right. And we're back to untapping how all much, my real estate. How much experience does Marin have at the moment? Two. Sorry, why do oh, you cool. make two of each? Isn't there just one? Uh, two creatures came in, fortune teller and um, the right. zombie um, who will become a rogue. Correct. Uh, Non-token creatures. Oh, okay. Then we only make one. You are correct. I should read my own card. Guillaume knows <laughs> how to make yeah. the fish, but he can't help it. token creatures. I just can't imagine read. him singing songs about everything he does throughout the day. <laughs> token creatures okay. don't eat. All That's right. Fact. We're going back to... <laughs> We're going to go back and cast Jerry Carthagian for a third time. <laughs> When I said I was excited about all this mana, I meant I hope we can all cast our commanders four times. <laughs> There's the woo portion, and then there is the additional four. Does that resolve? Oh, it resolves. Yep. Can't okay. promise you're going to untap with it. That's fine. I will uh, <laughs> offer the course tonight. Um, I will plus one it and get a Kavu. And that'll be it. Cards in hand. Uh, one. All right, my turn. All of these are detained. You can tell from their detained counters at the top <laughs> of their cards. Card card. All right, they can still help me affinity here. So one, two, three. So that's two of the tax and one of his cost. So Urza costs five to play right now. One, two, three, four, and five. If that resolves, I'm going to pass through all of my remaining phases to my end step. Yep. This uh, mirror is going to play the part of a construct. I'll do my counting here in a second. And then I yeah. will pass the dino. All right. One, two, gonna eight, um, tap. five, six. Yeah, six. Draw for turn. <clears throat> um, ba -do -ba -do -ba -do. I don't feel detained anymore. Uh, oh. Ooh. Freedom, sweet, sweet freedom. Um, yeah, until it blinks again. <laughs> no. Um, I will go to combat. And I will swing uh, with Lavinia because she has pro red. We'll do four at Squatch, the life total, not the uh, Planeswalker. All right. Okay. All right. Uh, go to second main. Uh, go to. Um. Not that. So that's two, three, four, five, six. Or radiant solar. Nice. Flying lifelink whenever it or another non-token creature enters the battlefield under my control. I venture into the dungeon Nice uh, So I will go to um, I guess I'll go to the goblin bazaar and create a treasure token Yeah 
and uh, bah, 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 bah. go to beginning of the end step, trigger teleport circle on Lavinia. She'll blink when she enters. I detain again as well as enter the mm. dungeon. So I will scry two. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm gonna put both on bottom. Yeah, Zach, we're gonna have to do something about that. Uh, I got a, I got a plan. Good, because I've been um, doing a lot of heavy lifting tonight. I know, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I'll be, I'm here to help. I'll be You're hungry. <laughs> You're hungry. I got it. We're here together. <laughs> I'll use Zach. See what this plan is. All right, untap. Uh, nothing on the upkeep. Everything's detained, so that's fantastic. <laughs> oh man, the pl plans. You know, plans change sometimes. Um, yeah. No, plans don't change. We're doing it this way. I'm gonna tap all four and attempt to cast Your Calling Ritual. I can't believe you've done all this with four lands. Yeah, yeah. It's the val. It's the value train. There are 37 lands in this deck. I don't know where they are. Um, I'm going to attempt to cast Calling Ritual. This is right. uh, Squatch. Anything? Destroy each non-land permanent with mana value two or less. Add black or red for each permanent destroyed this way. Uh, no Isn't response. Black or green? Black or green. Black or green. <laughs> Nothing from me. No response here. All right. I'm going to crack my treasure for blue okay All right, so uh, get... three dino i'll lose two so that's five and then for me another eight nine ten another ten so 15. did you get the one from me um, i'm gonna i'm gonna tap the elves for green as well okay sorry so I'll do a seven and an eight because did you, the, did you get the one from me? See, oh, so 16. I'll do an eight and an eight. Why not? And you're sacking your treasures and activating your soul ring before all this happens, right? Uh, can I... I can't. They're all detained. That's why I did this. Ah, yeah. Detain is a bitch. They're all detained. It's so wicked. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use uh, Zach. Don't forget yes. you have a zombie. Oh, so you'd have one more man. We do nine green. I'm going uh, to, I don't know why I'm putting really quick. In my I'm just putting, I'm just putting these dice out, these dice out to signify that I have one uh, each floating of these at the moment. You got okay. it. Thank you. I'm going to attempt to cast uh, shared summons by tapping, uh, say two black. So we'll go to six here. Learn how to use a spin down, Zach. Oh, oh chat, we're at 64 likes. These. You got to get to six. 69 likes before Zach's turn is over. Yeah, which is all right. Is that good? Yeah, no uh, response. Uh, yeah, no response. All right, I'm going to get stuff to deal with stuff. So. If it matters, you also get an experience counter. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, hell yeah. That always matters. Experience yeah, matters. No mana, EXP, bro. bro. Uh, how much mana do I have? 12? I'm going to get a Custody Lich. And... Nice. Monarch. Monarch. And... A Ravenous Chupacabra, I think. 69 likes have been reached right as you said ravenous chupacabra oh these people are ravenous that's what they want wow that's what the people want they want the chup that's what i'm talking about chad i'm proud of all of us <laughs> Ooh. Oh, i gotta get the chup oh i'll get the chup yeah, yeah 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 oh my god was it on top i was about to get uh i'll get a shriek ma because lavinia is not black Mow, mow, mow. All right, and I will shuffle that later. As to save time, I'm so excited. I'm panicking. Okay, don't panic. But go. everyone's focused on you right now. I'm, I'm panicked. I'm panicked as hell. I'm going to <laughs> use, uh, yeah, just five of the black. It looks like. So we'll go to one black. You don't have two uh, black pips for anything, do you? No, not for the next thing that I'm playing. 
uh, on the Custody Lich, when it enters the battlefield, I become the Monarch. Whenever I become the Monarch, target player sacrifices a creature. I'm going to point at you, Dino. All right. Um, on cast, then. Response to Custody I will... Lich. I'll use the blue and green floating, as well as a planes. Ooh. So that's a blue and two for March of Swirling Mist. Oh God. Um, I will have both of my creatures phase out. Okay, so that little that little targeting was really cool. Does uh, Detain I, I stay to, on that... things when Lavinia's gone? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, it looks like it does. Um, but, yeah. Oh yeah, it is when you target. Um, I did, uh, I don't... Uh, I don't know. I did mean to use Swirling Mist on cast, but... That's fine. I don't know. You already declared a target, so we can just say I do it in response to that. Sorry. I'm sorry. That's I, I thought about it when oh, I good. said it. I'm sorry. You can do it in response to the trigger. It's fine. Yeah. Yeah. But then I would have targeted something else if you would have done that, is what he's saying. Um, I'm yeah. going to use four of these of this green then. Or maybe because... you wouldn't. Don't apologize yeah, for playing strong, Dino. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna cast this timeless witness again. I'm yeah, going yeah. to get back uh, this soul ring. Dino cards I'm gonna in cast hand. the soul ring. Two. And then I am going to let this mana fizzle. You could use that soul ring. It's not detained if it matters. Soul ring got eaten by the calling ritual, didn't it? Yeah, it came back though. Yeah, but if it just entered oh, again, then you, it's fine. You. Yeah. It doesn't matter. We'll let it fizzle, move through phases, go to end step. Um, I have three counters. That puts Tireless Provisioner back on the field. I've had three things enter, so I will make all non-token so i'll make three of each remember zach you can sigh at instant speed uh, yeah and then uh <laughs> and then i will uh draw for monarch oh freaking monarch is a thing now okay i will so much going on i'll untap <laughs> Can you add the I'm pounce? actually going to I'm actually going to put that back. I'm going to shuffle first because I didn't shuffle. Sorry. Copy that. Sorry. Can you add the crown in spell table just to remember? Yes. Yes, I can. I, I got go. you. You do that. I got you. All right. Bum, ba, da, ba. All That's right. I will draw for turn. Speaking of monarchs, quantum <laughs> with the Kanata yeah. 6999. All hail the stream monarch. All hail. <laughs> also, chat's got it right. Big shout out to BuzzFuzz keeping us in line tonight. Love it. Thank you. Thank you, Buzz. But if you ever make a mistake, we're replacing you. <laughs> no, okay. Don't giggle um, at me. I'm it going so to... Worried. I'm going to tap the exotic orchard for a green, cast an abundant growth on it, uh, enchant that land. All right. Well, you uh, finally have some mana to work with. <laughs> <laughs> when abundant growth enters the battlefield I'll draw a card and that enchant land can tap for any one mana of color Milo, scratch oh. on 200 mythic, that's crazy I've never been mythic on arena alright I can't politic um, like I do in commander on arena so I, I lose every game I'm going to mm. play a mountain valley tap which is another slow fetch I'm then going to minus six Jared Carthalian. You started the stream off do. by saying <laughs> you didn't do that. <laughs> when you got when you got one card in hand and a bunch of, See chat, you do what would you, you have do. felt so bad about me attacking a liar? <laughs> no! You wouldn't have felt bad about me attacking a liar. <laughs> Alright, so the minus six um, has return target multi. We drove him to minus six. Uh, return target multicolored card from your graveyard to your hand. If that card was all colors, draw a card and create two treasure tokens. Wow. So that will get, he will go away. Bye, Jared. Now, if only you had some mana to play it with. 
Seriously. I'll bring back the Crow Manticore. Yep. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> seems seems good. I will. <laughs> Get two treasures and draw a card. Yeah, they really went all in on this design, didn't they? They were like, this is a five color commander. Two, I'll draw my card. <laughs> okay. Um... Romanticor is in your hand? It's uh, it to my hand, yeah. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. Oh, I All thought good. you had played it. Yeah, I thought I did too. I read it wrong. Thanks, Buzz. Mm. Okay. Uh, I'm going to play Chromanticore. There it comes. Manti's back. back. Again. And oh, then man. I'm going to cast uh, Rian Angel of Rebirth. Oh, nice. Uh, that'll be white, green, red, and two other. So that uh, has flying. Other multicolored creatures you control get plus one, plus zero. And then whenever another multicolored creature you control dies, return it to the its owner's hand at the beginning of the next end step. And then I will pass the dirt. I'm starting to think the five colors may be to his advantage and not a disadvantage. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Car for turn. Gold Maya Bridge. Armix is still detained. Urza isn't though. Attack Correct. step. Yup. Swing a dino for four. Yup. That's commander damage. Down to 30. Mark it down. Marked, marked. Urza rolling in his wheelchair to get to you. <laughs> Smacking you in the face. Uh, move, oh. Moving through the rest of my phases in step. Construct. Yep. Pass it up. One. Um, All right. Uh, on tap. Phase back in. Draw for turn. So that's not ETBing, correct? Correct. So at the very least, your portal is going to have to do it. Got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. <laughs> Zach in chat, draw an extra cards. <laughs> don't tell don't tell anyone. I'm gonna take two seconds of a bio. I'll be right back. Please continue without me. I will catch back up. You forgot to draw on your turn? Uh for monarch, because I had to shuffle. Oh, great. Okay. Um Well, that's really wacky. Okay. Uh really fucking wacky um okay i'm going to pay two green play you find a cursed idol i'm gonna choose steal its eyes uh so i will create a treasure token and venture into the dungeon nice uh buh, buh, buh. so treasure back i'm gonna venture into um the can you, ba, ba, ba. can you bring your dungeon more in frame because we don't see it yeah yeah yeah. sorry so i'm gonna venture into mural's graveyard to create two one one black skeleton creature tokens but with that trigger on the stack i'm going to pay two to cast mystic reflection so i choose a non-legendary creature i'm going to choose radiant solar the next time one or more creatures or planeswalkers enter the battlefield this turn, they enter as copies of the chosen creature. 
I have a response. Okay. I'm going to tap this for two, crack a treasure for green, and I'm going to attempt to beast within the Radiant Solar. Um... No response from me, so... <laughs> Squat, you good? <laughs> hey, I'm good. <laughs> Do you think Joel would be good with this too, or what? That I angel needed to die know. five turns ago. <laughs> um... I guess... In response, I'll tap four to flashback uh, right of harmony. Um, but I don't have a way to save the solar. Okay. All right, so harmony. Um, so Solar will die. I'll get a 3-3 three, three beast and draw a card. Yep. Um, then da, 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 that goes away. Uh, the dungeon will finish triggering. I will get two Skeletons. Which I hope I have here somewhere. What was the Mystic Reflections? It was going to be Radiant Solar. Ooh. Thank you for dealing with that one. Would have been nice. Joel, I, I, um, I, I told you I'm here to feed you now. Now we're eating together. We're cooking it up. <laughs> now no? Lavinia is, I mean, I'm, my deck is make creature um, token. So uh, Lavinia okay. kind of fucks me. <laughs> yeah, same. Yeah. Same. <laughs> I don't know. I don't have skeletons on me, so I don't <laughs> I'll represent him with a germ at the moment. And do I have a the elef the elephant will represent the beast, maybe? That's a 4-4 four, four beast. I need a 3-3 three, three beast. Yeah, I don't have a 3-3 three, three beast. Um the two skeletons enter, I'll draw two cards. This is exiled. Look at that card coming back. Everybody go buy Rights of Harmony. That'd be good. Let's all just buy them all out. <laughs> uh, Plains land for turn. I'm having a baby in August. So you guys buy them before that. We're good. Oh, what? Congratulations. Yeah. Congrats. Thank you. I'm really excited. Um, I'm going to go to combat, maybe. First kid. Yeah, first kid. Nice. Our our baby was born last day of August, so Oh. You'll have you'll have a baby that's exactly one year older than my baby. <laughs> younger. Younger. <laughs> what did I say? Younger. It's getting late on the East Coast, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go to combat. And Squatch, both your both your I almost said characters. Both your creatures are still red, right? Or still what? Red. They're red, right? Yes, they are. Yeah, both of them are. All right. All right. Then I'll come through for four again. Sure. Take a four. All right. Um, I will go to second main, EOT, teleportation circle to Lavinia. That's what I. And... That's what I wanted to beast within. <laughs> and faster. Uh, then you could have uh... just let the Solar live. Uh, end step. I'm going to absolutely not. I'm going to break this for two black and I'm going to cast a uh, plum the forbidden as an additional cost nice. cast a spell. I may sacrifice one or more creatures. Uh, when I do, uh, I draw and then I draw a card and lose, lose a life. So I will sack one. What did you, what did you sacrifice? Uh, I'm going to sacrifice one, two, three creatures. Custody Lich, timeless witness and misfortune teller. <laughs> That'll put six. They'll bring me up to six experience counters. I'll just put them on here. These are not plus one, plus one counters. Um, and then I will draw four cards. 
And I lose four life. And I will lose four life. Okay. And then we'll go to my turn. Yep. We'll put this in the graveyard as well. Okay. Um, untap. Nothing on upkeep. Draw. We will play, finally, a land for turn. Fifth land, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. <laughs> that will make... Even now. That will make a clue. A food. I don't know why there's more there. Uh, a clue, a food, uh, and a trigger. Hold on, do you have... You have more dice just so you can differentiate between which ones you can use and which ones are detained. Oh yeah, some are detained. Uh yes, I I can do Yes, I can. So I have one, one, and one that are not detained. Wow, what a beautiful representation. This is really good for viewing. A lot of good viewing here. <laughs> so John Reed, thank you for the eight months. <laughs> John Reed said, Zach, Zach, he's our man with his eight month yeah, message. Yeah, yeah, so. that's, that's my guy. Uh, I will start off by tapping the soul ring to play an it's Idol of Oblivion. Detained. Can you use that soul ring? Uh, it's detained. Okay. <laughs> so upset. Uh, all right, I'm going to start off like this then. I'm going to tap these two things to uh, evoke my Shriek Ma. Let's fucking go. Targeting Lavinia, the, the targeting Lavinia. Peace and love, really quick, Lavinia. Really quick, really quick. Is um is Evoca cast? Just an alternate cost yes. cast? Yes. Alternate cost cast. Alrighty. Counter spell. Mm, I got nothing. I got nothing for that. So this will go here. Go oh, looking at you. Open with six. I don't run interaction in the nope. sack. <laughs> he's he's the only one only the board wipes um okay well then i'll tap another black for a cauldron familiar when etbs uh each one lose one life and i gain one life beautiful there then oh, i will was play actually... you, you still have Marin Zach, out you there? gotta stop calling your targets before it etbs oh well no it's each opponent no, no, I was familiar. talking about Shriek Ma. It has oh, to, yeah. it has to ETB before you. My choose bad. Target. That's my bad. We all knew though. Probably still would have counterspelled it. Yeah. Yeah, we all knew what was happening. <laughs> do you still uh, have Marin out there? I do. She has seven experience. That counters. was a waste of a counterspell. <laughs> you said it, yep. not me. <laughs> yeah. Oh well. We all know. We all know what's in the battlefield at the end of this turn. <laughs> the reason uh, I'm just Idol like, yeah, sure, counterspell. Yeah, sure, yeah. Uh, Idol of Oblivion. I will tap it because I made uh, yeah. tokens. Draw a card. Idol's new, yeah. right? Idol's not... No, that's new. That's Idol's brand new. Just came out. And uh, I will move through my phases because everything is detained. And then yep. I will go to my end step. I will trigger Marin. I will bring a Shriek Maw out. And it will ET... Does It will ETB? And then I will, TV. I will target Lavinia. <laughs> she may die. Wind, but no one will forget rain, what she's a snow, <laughs> sleet. Lavinia <laughs> can live through anything except that eighth piece of removal that's just clutch. We did it. Uh, I'm really happy. So that's uh, that's that's my turn. All right. I will do this. I will do this as well. So I will. Congratulations, create. there, pal. We're all here. We're all here together. I'll untap everything. It's... Even if she's gone, remember, everything's still detained. Yeah. 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 For this Detention turn. continues. All right, I'll draw for turn. Thank you again to Ryan Flannery, Quantum Mechanic, joining the Patreon tonight. Appreciate y'all. Thank you, everybody, for bearing with my plays. I appreciate all of you. You have the most impressive board. The it's, it's all thing detained. Is making it hard to parse. <laughs> it's all detained. <laughs> okay, I am going to um, tap and sacrifice the map alley to switch my library for a mountain or a forest. 
Put it onto the battlefield and then shuffle. Ooh. Dino, how many cards in your hand now? One? Just the two. Two. Oh yeah, you drew some cards with the Ride of Harmony flashback. Yep. Okay, so I did get me a forest. Nice. Uh, sorry, did Zach draw a card because he's a monarch? I did not. Thank you. Buzz fuzz, my man. Let's just get these out of the way a little bit. Um, I'm then going to... Ooh so I'm going to pay a green, a black with the... Abundant growth on the exalted orchard and a white on the canopy vista or an Abzan charm. Mm -hmm. And then I need to go ahead and declare now. But uh, just, just to make sure, like, choose the mode I want or do I, do I need to choose it now or. Uh, you choose it, you choose it on uh, Yeah, you choose it at cast. Okay. So I'm choosing to draw two cards and lose two lives. No response? No response. No okay. response. All right. I will do so. Lose two lives. While you're doing two. that, I'm going to just grab some more water really quick. Sure thing. Got to shit, man. Um... That was fine. Um, I will play a Cascading Cataracts was my land for a turn. And then um, let us two cards from my hand. I will go ahead and tap 11 to cast Jared again for the fourth time. 11 mana planeswalker, Jared Cartholian. Uh, let me make sure that's 1, 2, 3, 4, Absolutely 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. There we go. Love it. All right. Um, and then I'm going to minus 3 it. So choose up to two target creatures. I'll choose Chromanticore and Re, uh, the Angel of Rebirth. Uh, for each of them, put a plus one, plus one counter on each of equal to the number of colors it is. So five plus one, plus one counters on the Chromanticore, and then three onto the Angel of Rebirth. Okie doke. All right. Um, oh, did I get exile? No, but you're camera's starting to betray you a little bit it looks like yeah we're trying to trying to keep up let me uh can i back out of this thing and then come back oh am i back yet am i here yeah hey okay yeah. is it stable now are we good a little better yeah okay I'm going to now move to combat and I will um, swing the Chromanticore at Dino. So it does have a plus one, plus zero uh, from the Rian, so it's a 10. It'll be a 10 okay. 9. Flying, first strike, vigilance, trample, and life link. So 10 here at you, Dino. Alrighty, go to 20. I will gain 10. Sheesh. And I will pass the turn. <clears throat> Shoo-wee. Somebody really should have bullied Squatch earlier. 
Let's so get another hand. Do. That's what that's what we've been saying. I can only scream the religion so loud. <laughs> Blue, blue, black, blue, or Whirler Rogue. Nice. ETBs with two thopters. Yup. Not retro frame, boo. Oh shoot, uh, Zach, I totally missed when you dropped Calder Familiar. I'm at 19. There you go. Oh, as did I. Wow, guys. It's the only thing I can do. It's the only thing that's ever hurt anybody. I took it earlier, so we're good. Thank you, Squatch. You're my only friend. <clears throat> I pay my debts. <laughs> All right, I'm going to... Zach, look, buddy, this is nothing personal. I just need cards. It's all right, man. Monarch is too tasty. Tasty. It's a tasty crown. What do you got, Dino? What is that thing under the elephant? I have two... I have two 1-1 one -one skeletons, and then this is a 3-3 three -three beast, technically. Got it. Got it. Now I'm seeing it. All right, yeah, I'm going to activate Whirler Rogue's ability here. Tap two untapped artifacts I control. Target creature can't be blocked this turn. So I'm going to tap my two Thopters. Make, uh... We're just going to make our mix unblockable. And Zach, ping you, ping you for three, unless you got any tricks. I got no tricks. I'm taking three. All right, so that'll make me Monarch. And then I'm just going to move. Uh, so Armix isn't an activated ability, so if you wanted to, you could use his discard thing if you... Oh, I wasn't so able to attack with him because he was detained, correct? Oh, right. yeah. So I need to make... Yes. Okay, so it needs to be one more, unfortunately, Zach. Four for Urza here. If y'all oh. don't mind me taking that back. I forgot about detention. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll make, no worries. Make Urza unblockable. Swing for four commander for one. that's commander. Zach. Yeah. yeah. Get Monarch. And then... Sec, uh, second main, I'll pass through. Go to end step. Create a construct. <clears throat> and then move the move through and grab a card and pass turn. Oish, oish. Oh, untap. So we're no longer detained. The tension is <laughs> over until it gets returned. Jesus. You know what's gonna happen. One, two, three, four, five, mm. six, seven, eight. These are actually eights. Actually, you know what? I I truly made the brilliant move uh, of taking Ewit out of the deck because I was like, I'm not gonna need that. We don't need Ewit. <laughs> Why would we need that? Yeah. So actually, no. Lavinia, as far as I can remember, is gone for good. Um. I will pay three for thorough investigation. Nice. Whenever I attack, I I investigate, and whenever I sack a clue, I venture into the dungeon. Nice. Um. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Oh my god. Um. All right, uh, I'm gonna go to combat and uh, I'm gonna swing one skeleton 
at Joel, which I'm going to represent with this handsome illusion. <laughs> Sounds good. I'll take one. So it's, it's just a 1 1 skeleton. Sure. I'll take one. Okay, cool. I'm the monarch. Don't want it. You can have it. All I have to do is give it um, up for and one then life. I... Hell yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Got off and easy. I create a I create a clue on the attack. And then uh second main. What up, main? I'll tap two three four and play Archaeomancer. So I can return an instant or sorcery from my yard to my hand. Um, in response to cast? Negative. All right. Nope. Uh, ETB. I will target... Uh, I'm going to target Cosmic Intervention. I will turn that to hand. Um, <clears throat> uh, go to end of turn, trigger teleport circle. I'll hit the Archaeomancer. Dang. Um, on on second ETB, I will target March of Swirling Mist. Mm. Turning that to my hand. And... I'm really regretting not playing Ewit right now. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that'll uh, that'll end my turn. On your end step, I will crack a clue. Okay. Uh, untap. I got nothing on the upkeep, and I will draw. I'll play a land for turn. Triggers tireless. Makes all three. Six, four, seven. Things are makes, happening. Makes all three. Um, I will then. Oh, it's my other card. Yes, this is what I want to do. I will then uh, a black and a green to cast Scavenging Ooze. Uh-oh. And with that blink... Archaeomancer situation. I might have to start pinging graveyards. Let me. Fair enough. Yeah, I tossed my relic earlier idol. when I didn't think graveyards were going to be relevant. Then. So I think Marin was on the battlefield. I'm not sure if a graveyard yeah. was empty at that time. <clears throat> Zach, for clarity's sake, can you put your other treasures with the other treasures? Sorry about that. No, the treasures you have on the bottom. Oh, Jesus. Jesus. Of yeah. course. Thank you. Secret treasure. Um, then... I will... One, two... And two black. I will cast Reprocess. Uh, sacrifice oh. and in, yeah, any number of creatures, lands, or artifacts. Uh, draw a card for each one. Sacrifice this way. I will sacrifice. Um, oh, go ahead. I will. I will let nothing. you go. Love reprocess. In no response, response, I'm going to say I love this card. Great card. Fantastic card. Um. All right. I'm going to sacrifice the Shriek Maw. I'm going to sacrifice this Cauldron Familiar. I'm going to sacrifice uh, six foods, six clues. That's 14 so far. And I'm going to leave it at that. Casual 14 card draw. I'm going to draw 14 casually. <laughs> <laughs> 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Any lands in there? Pro I, I hopefully I hopefully I got through them all. I was hitting a little bit of a pocket. <laughs> um, I will move through phases. One creature hit the battlefield this turn, so I will make 
one, one, and one. Well, you have a Marin trigger. Marin is going to bring back Timeless Witness, which is going to bring back Culling Ritual. And then I will discard down to hand size and I will let you guys know what I'm discarding. All righty. And I'll pass. Nice turn. Thank you. All right. I'm on tap. Stack of lands. Draw for turn. Um, play a mountain for turn. I will plus one the Jared. So it'll be at three, and I will get a Kavu. Okay, and um. I will move to combat. Yep. I'm going to swing the Chromantic Core at Zach and the Rian at Zach. So, a total of uh, 10 from the Chromantic Core and 8 from the Rian Angel of Rebirth. Is that all in the sky? It's all in the sky. Oh my God. Oh my dude. God. <laughs> and this will be a okay. Sorry. Dunk. Woof. Unreal, dude. Woof. All right. These are my, this is my discard pile. Okay. How much damage is that? It'll be a total of 18. 18. Okay. How many creatures do you have in your graveyard? Me? Yeah. I have two. All right. So I will ping both of those out and I will gain two life. Oh, okay. And then I'll put two plus one plus one counters in here. Dino, how many creatures do you have in your yard? I don't want to tell you. I'm looking like a four. All right. I will uh, crack four treasures. Sorry, this is also in the graveyard. So I'll go down to three treasures and I'll ping all four of them. Okay. Uh, Joel, how many you got? Three. <clears throat> Hang on, I think Dino's got some interaction. Okay. Yeah, I mean, you can you can do all that at instant speed, so I don't yeah. I don't really have anything. So yeah. I got three. Um. I'm gonna hit one. I'm gonna hit the scariest one, and then I'm going to use the other two to crack a food because I gained one more life that way. So I gained four life instead of three. Yeah, that one's pretty scary. You nailed the adjudicator. There you go. Open mana after all that? Uh, zero. Zero open mana. I've, I've tapped it out. The other so, options were right. Scrap Trawler, Master of Ethereum. Okay. So, so how much do I... It's going to be... 18 in the air, and I'll gain 10 from the lifelink off the chromantic core. <sighs> Mother of... That's it. That's and then I will... Um, pass the turn with all my mana open. How many cards in your hand? I have two. Great, spectacular! Do you want to know what I discarded? Not really. Okay. The important things are a Bolas is and a Kinker Bloom. Nice. Kinker Bloom. Oh, mercy me.
I should have kept the land. Oops. Plan for turn. I'm going to go two for Orzov Signet. Hey, oh, pardon me. Increase my artifact count to nine. We're going to pay two for Orzov Signet, with Orzov Signet, rather. And play Tide Hollow Sculler. When it ETBs, I get oh, to look. Uh, ETBs, target opponent reveals their hand, and you choose a non land card from it, and it gets exiled until Tide Hollow leaves the battlefield. So I'm going to choose Dino's hand. Alrighty. It's you look at it or uh, you reveal revealed. It. Yeah, fully revealed. Okay. March, Beast Within, and Cosmic Intervention. Yeah, the man's protecting himself. I'm going to get the Beast Within. Alrighty. So that's exiled until Tide Hollow Skeller returns. Bumps my okay. artifact count up to 10. I'm going to tap Tide Hollow Sculler and Thopter to make this construct unblockable. Yep. <clears throat> Attack step. Oh man, I have no nope. mana. I have no mana. These two constructs are going at. Hold on, before you declare. Before you declare. Wow. Wow. Before you declare. It was. At, declare. It was on the tip of my tongue. Yeah. I probably can take somebody out and just don't attack me. Well, that's not good news. That's not good news. <laughs> it will make a deal. All right. You leave me alive on your next turn. You can't take me out of the game on your next turn. Just one turn, one turn deal, and I won't attack you this turn. All right. Deal? Deal. All right. You heard it here, chat. It's forever com m memorialized on our stream. All right. So I'm going to go these two constructs at Dino. Hold, please. Both of them? Hold, please. Yes. Oh, my gosh. And then Armix is going to be attacking uh jared via squatch on the attack trigger discarding a card to armix to give chromanticore minus 10 minus 10. okay so, so that is that is what's on the the attack has been declared and that ability from armix is on the battlefield targeting chromanticore okay so I'm yeah, uh, I have no responses. Okay, so, so. move the blocks. So then Chromanticore um, dies, but then it comes back to uh, my your, hand at the your beginning hand. at the next end step. That's correct. Correct. So it'll go to my graveyard unless somebody wants to eat it. And then uh, Jared will die. Jared dies from the Armix, and then you got ten coming at you via two constructs. Mm -hmm. Well, 10 each. One of them, this one's unblockable, so you got 10 coming at you, period. And you got this one, it's got Menace. Yeah. yeah. All right. Um, I'm going to start by tapping two to uh, crack a clue. Um, duh, 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 duh. So then I'll venture into the dungeon before I draw. Scry three. Okay. 
Holy shit. Um... All right, um, I will. I'm going to keep one on top, dump two to the bottom. Okay. Uh, then I draw the one from the clue. Um, and then I will uh, crack my treasure for blue, I guess, and tap two more. And I will cast March of Swirling Mists to phase out the two uh, constructs coming at me. In response. Yep. They march into a swirling mist. <laughs> <laughs> All right, second main, and these are phased. Yep. That means phased now. Uh, second main. All right, they come back before you untap. Got it. Uh, end of my turn. Create a construct represented by this servo here. Mm -hmm. I'll do On your math. Ends. On your instep, it'll come back to my hand. Yep. The chromatic core. And pass the turn. Jesus, we keep Already? trying to take people out. No one will die this game. <laughs> <laughs> All right, untap, draw for turn. Man. Um... Uh, I'll go to combat and I'll swing, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll do a, a handsome illusion skeleton at, a uh, Zach for one and create a clue in on the trigger. Uh, I will block it with this timeless witness. You got it. <clears throat> um, second main. Mike, I'll tap <laughs> two, crack the clue. Uh, before I draw, <clears throat> I complete the Mad Wizard's Lair. Hey. So I, I draw three and reveal them. I may cast one without paying its mana cost. So the three I'm drawing are a Plains, a Yorian Sky Nomad, Oof. and Semester's End. Oof, okay. Yorian's the choice, huh? <laughs> uh, probably. Um, but then in a... Tw twist of events he chose semester's end oh wow um targeting uh archaeomancer of course mm -hmm. uh so that'll so that's gonna flicker so it's out until the beginning of my next end step at which point it'll come back with a one one counter on it <laughs> all right so semester's end is in the yard it's in the yard over here um, planes land for turn. Uh, and then for a planes, a planes, and a forest, I will cast out of time. Uh, oh my so when it ETBs, God. when it ETBs, untap all creatures and phase them out until this leaves the battlefield. I put a time counter on it for each creature phased out this way. I can't take anybody out, Jill. I can't take anybody out. <laughs> this game is going to go till four in the fucking morning. Okay. What are we doing here? Everything's getting phased? I have phased? no responses. I have no responses. All right. So I've got, I've got two creatures phasing out. I've got, I've got two. One, two, three, four, five. I have five. Okay. So that's nine so far. And then Joel. Hang on. 
Wow. Joel, I should have had you just hit me. I could be just talking. I could just be talking seven, to everybody in chat right now. Seven, having, a, having a blast. Seven phased. <laughs> All right. So that'll take it to 16 time counters total. Um, wow. Woo, 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 woo. Feel free oh, to boy. Just, oh, boy. Feel free to just move them out of the camera to save up space. Um, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, then I will go to, uh, no, 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 the beginning of the next one. I'll go to the beginning of my end step, uh, trigger teleportation first, and do, so I'll resolve semester's end first. Oh, but I think this has to choose a target when it triggers, so it's not going to get anything. Um... Archaeomancer comes back into play, and I will get the march back to hand. Yep. Bant, oh, ladies and, then and gentlemen. Past turn. Bant. We got to get through this pillow forty shit over there. <laughs> All right, untap. <laughs> uh, nothing on the upkeep. Draw. Oh man. Uh, okay. Well, let's just do this. Land for turn. Nothing happens because I have no creatures in play. Yeah, I will play a, a Tuna Black for a Grim Horror Specs. 3-2. Uh, Whenever another non-token creature I control dies, draw a card. I will go... Green deck, one remove that enchantment. Let's go. One and two green. Topiary Stomper. Uh, ETBs get a land. I'll do that in a moment because I'm also going to tap three to play wood elves so i will go get two lands and that's all i have this turn all right there's nothing to untap so i'll draw for turn oh lord um I'm going to uh, play a Terramorphic Expanse. I'll go ahead and tap it, crack it. Fuck, I forgot to... Damn it. <laughs> I will go get a... Just whatever, it doesn't really matter. Um, we'll get an island. Put it in the battlefield tapped. I'll get I'll get something for you, Joel. We got Sorry. we have more. We have more in here. Sorry, Dino, did you draw a card because you're monarch? I've I've missed the trigger twice now. Draw it now. All right. All right. So that came in tapped. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. We're going to tap <laughs> thirteen. For Whoa. Jared. Whoa. <laughs> and now, does that resolve? That's very funny. Yeah. Okay. I'll uptick it, get a Kavu, and uh, pass the turn. All right. So these phase back in. Yep. But they're smaller. One. Mm -hmm. Two, three, four, five, six each. Card for turn. I'm going to play Bajuka Bog and exile your graveyard dino. Yep. Pay four for a simulacrum, ETBs, get a basic. Get a swampy bumpy. That makes the construct seven. Uh, move to attacks. Good job, Dino, coming at you with two seven seven constructs. Dose seven sevens, huh? 
<sighs> they don't have uh, blah, 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 menace at the moment. They do not. All right. Um, I'm going to declare Archaeomancer as a blocker on one of them. Okay. And then he's going to blink it. Shocker. <laughs> yeah. uh, no, I'm going to uh, Cosmic Intervention. Okay. So it'll, I mean, yeah. So uh, it'll die, but get exiled instead. And then I'll get it back at the beginning of the end step. And I take, they were sixes, you said? They were sevens. Seven. Sevens, go to 12, go to 12. And that is going to do it for me. All right. I'll get the Mancer back, which gets back the Cosmic Intervention. <laughs> we're, Untap. we're on hour two and a half right now. Of this this blinky crazy. pillow fort shit. Let's go. Crazy. We got to start taking some 15. faster turns. I didn't know we were playing blinky blocks. <laughs> down to down to fifteen vanish encounters. Um, oh my god! Oh, I got uh, my. Uh, Can I draw a card? Correct, correct. Um, okay. Uh, blah blah blah. Uh, f oop, fifteen. I'm gonna go four. Uh, for d -d 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 -d. um, where the heck? Uh, Druid of Purification. Fantastic. Uh, when an ET, when an ETB starting with me, each player may choose an artifact or enchantment I don't control. Uh, destroy each permanent chosen this way. I'm going to choose one of the tapped constructs. I'm gonna choose nothing. Squatch. Squatch. Squatch, your turn to choose. Sorry, I was on me. I said the other tap construct. Swag. Right. We're just going to keep Joel, wiping the damn board. Joel, remember, remember this moment. I want I you choose, to remember this moment. I choose the, a shotgun blast to my forehead. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> All right. I am down to nothing uh, left. Uh, for for another four, I'm going to cast Seasoned Dungeoneer, so I will take the initiative. How many cards in your um, hand? Four. Jesus. Um, so I'll take the initiative, which I have right here. So it's, I don't have a big one, unfortunately. Uh, so it starts with, I search my library for a basic, reveal it, put it in my hand, and shuffle. Found a forest. Let's go with that. All right. Uh, Season Dungeoneer also has whenever I attack, target attacking cleric, rogue, warrior, or wizard gains protection from creatures until end of turn, and it explores. All right. Uh, I will forest land for turn. Um, I will go to combat. Oh, pardon me. Um, I will give Archaeomancer protection from creatures and attack Joel for one. Down to one. Right down uh, and go down one. And then it ex <laughs> And then I explore. So I reveal the top card of my library. It is Nadar Selfless Paladin. I may put that card into my hand if it's a land. Otherwise, I put a 1-1 one -one counter on the creature. So it'll be two damage. That's my bad. Uh... Uh, but, but, but then put the card back or into my graveyard. I'm going to leave it on top. I'll be a chap and just leave it open so that people don't forget. Thank you, sir. Um, all right. Um, then, da, 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 da. then I will go to my... All right, I got a clue for the attack. Um, I will... 
Um, oh yeah, and I got Monarch, which is there. Yeah, I'll go to my end step, blink the Season Dungeoneer. I will go to um, the Forge, I guess, and put two plus one counters on the uh, Cleric Rogue. Ah, shoot. Um, I guess Season Dungeoneer. Um, bu -bu -bu -bu. And I think that's it then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. All right. Untap. Nothing on the Aki. What's that Dex Wind Con did you say, down. Dino? <laughs> um, not having everything <laughs> killed in exile. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Who wants to see the most expensive way to attempt to draw a card? and then get denied by a blink spell. I'm gonna cast three for Morbid Opportunist. Uh, when one or more other creatures die, draw a card. This ability only triggers once per turn, and then I'm going to go two black. Two oh, wait, black. I drew the Nadar for Monarch. Two green, and I'm gonna I'm going to cast Ravenous Chupacabra. When it ETBs, I'm gonna target the that white card that you just put in with the two counters on it. You got it. All right, that creature dies. Morbid opportunist, draw a card. Okay, we might have something here. Oh my god, we're so close and yet so far. <laughs> <laughs> We're so close and so far. We can't All get right, through well, Dino's bubble. If one of these was a treasure, we'd be good. Well, I'm going to telegraph the whole thing because I have to. <clears throat> I'm going to tap one, two, three. And I'm going to grab, unless I have a better choice. Oh. Yeah. I'm going to grab this beast within. Ah, oh, shoot. I went yes. over. Because I'm going to cast E-Wit. Sorry, oh, I, did, I did that. I did that in my mind. I did the first part in my mind, everybody. <laughs> gotcha. It's all good, man. E -wit uh, hits cast the E-Wit. E and then I'm going to grab a beast within. I do not have enough mana to cast it, however. Nope. Um... And that is my turn. Okie dokie. All right, I will untap. Draw for turn. You got to be sending that team, uh, Zach. I play an island for turn. All right, well, then we got somebody's got to tell me that I'm not going to get attacked, is the problem. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, I am going to. I'm so to... scared over here, Joel. I got five life. Yeah, no. Um, Scary times. Although this Stomper does have Vigilance, so yes, I should have attacked with it. Okay. Um, I'm going to... Manriel's the sub substitution one, guy? This says everything. Yeah, we're not... All, none of us uh, are playing win cons, Manriel. You're right. So there's a... Blue, green, red... White, black, and then the life disparity of all the players is crazy other. to me. We got a guy at five and a guy at forty-eight. <laughs> so with no real I'm end in sight. To... <laughs> it's yeah. absolutely wild. So one, two, three, four, five, and two. I'm going to cast um, Chromantic Orb for the bestow cost. Which is, if you yep. cast this card for its bestow cost, it's an aura spell with an enchant creature. Um, so I'm going to enchant the Kavu. So the, the enchanted creature gets plus four, plus four, and has flying, first strike, vigilance, trample, and lifelink. <laughs> Fucking yep. Kavu Kavu's going to win this game. <laughs> oh my god. I am then going to minus three the Jared. 
Oh my god. To give it five plus one plus one counters. <laughs> so it's currently at 12 12 with flying first strike, Ooh, vigilance, trample, and life link. Fucking go. <laughs> I'll move to combat and I will swing at you, Zach. Oh air. my god. No way, dude. <laughs> Not what I expected at all. Not, I'm, about to, I'm about to unleash the board. You're not. Uh, uh, I did not expect that. This is heartbreaking. Absolutely. Hard. I mean, I have nothing. I, I don't have the man. I don't have the man to take it out. Is that a murder? Damn. Good work, dude. Great work. I, will, I will gain 12. Great work. Well, at least now, at least I now, now I get to chat with chat. Zach, your mission yeah. is run flyers. Yeah. I usually build this deck way more aristocracy and not usually worried about my life that totals. I've been sitting on this the whole game. Yeah. And I will oh, nice. pass the turn. I put that out. I should have put that out instead of Marionette Master. I put out Marionette Master hoping it would get removed so that I could smack somebody out of the game. But, uh, right. Bad, uh, bad plan. <laughs> yeah, Joel, I was going to drop like three lands, create nine tokens, buff my commander up X amount, take out a blocking creature on Squatch's side and commander him out was my plan before the, before the, uh, before Dino trapped Before everybody. Dino. Before Dino. Six mana Me for D. Worm Coil Engine. Three mana go. for Etched you. Champion. There you go. Nice. Yeah, I've got a attack step. Yep. Swing two at Jared Carthalian with my solemn simulacrum. Oh, <laughs> uh, sure. Why not? <laughs> Pass this dino. is crazy. All right. Uh, untap. <laughs> dino, I'm uh, sure no how he's still in the game. Uh, sorry. No cards for you. Huh? What's that? Oh, I said, unsure of how you're still in the game after that Chromanticore goes to attack. I know, right? Um, I meant to, at the your end step, I'm going to crack the clue. Sinborn, we're almost to, uh, to hour three. three. Dino keeps yeah. finding the right card. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'll end that. I venture into the dungeon, which triggers the trap. Joel, lose five life. Got it. Uh, untap, draw for turn. Squatch, I'm sorry for bullying. A uh, reliquary tower. Oh, you're all good. I'll tap the this island for two and a white. Um, I will cast Cloister Gargoyle. ETB, I venture into the dungeon. I will go forward to the archives and draw a card. Um, I will tap three more and play Nadar Selfless Paladin. ETB, venture into the dungeon. And other creatures I control get plus one, plus one as long as I've completed a dungeon. So I finish the Undercity. Um, I so I reveal the top ten cards of my library and put a creature from among them onto the battlefield with three plus one, plus one counters. It gains hexproof until my next turn and then i shuffle so that's one two three four five oh six seven God. eight nine ten all right so signet sneak forest forest venster stonehorn dignitary mystic snake eliwick veteran dungeoneer and tomb of horrors adventurer um Ladies and gentlemen, know, we're passing hour three. 
can't do that. Um. Uh, uh, blah, 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 blah. Three full games going right now in the Discord. Put a creature from my own that three gains hexproof, not haste. Um, I don't know, man. Sure, Tomb of Horrors Adventure comes in with three plus one counters. And I shuffle the rest. All right, this is supposed to tick down to 14. All right, um, so when it ETBs, I take the initiative. So I'm going to find a basic land, which I might as well do now while I'm shuffling. Uh, find a planes. Um, whenever I cast my second spell each turn, I copy it. If I've completed a dungeon, I copy that spell twice instead. I may choose new targets for the copies. All right, uh, blah, blah, blah. I've already done land for turn. Um, it's keys. Um, I will. All right, so I'm at the secret entrance. Um, <laughs> Sinborn, I said, I told my wife, uh, I said, I'm going to start the stream 30 minutes earlier tonight. Maybe I'll be done by like 11 or yeah. something. We can watch something. Um, I'll go to my end step, uh, teleport circle. I'll hit the druid of purification. When it enters, I'll choose the chromantic oh, since God. it's an aura. Okay. You get uh, and then to, Squatch, you can... You get to choose something yeah. he doesn't control to destroy. Artifact or enchantment. Ah, <laughs> uh, um... Uh, let's do the Edge Champion. It's got protection from all colors. Uh, then I'll choose nothing. It protection, it it's choose. It goes through protection. Okay, that's oh, it fine. Does? Yeah. It's Oops, not target. Yeah. Alright. Oh, poop. I love that card. Really? Alrighty. Squatch, you're up. Damn, um, Squatch, that was my last piece that could have dealt with Dino. <laughs> Sorry. This is uh oh, untap and draw. Oh, he's at he's exiled for me. Is he exiled for you? Yeah. Squatch, we lost you. Okay. Yep. I just want to say, you guys, even though it's been seven and a half hours, I'm having a blast. This has been a hell of a game. Oh, that's my bad. Not a that's huge crazy. fan of marathon fucking single <laughs> games, but this one has a been a blast. Yeah, I know. Hey, that's a. a. I know that's what your deck does. Champion. You know. What are you gonna do? Yeah, dirtle, dirtle, dirtle. I'm hoping to find a champion of Lamholt by now. Hey, how do y'all can still hear me? Cause I'm connected. We can still hear you. Yeah, yes, my yeah. internet dropped. Okay, let's try this again now. I'm coming back. Let me see. Classic stream. <laughs> yeah, okay. Three hour and game. We got people dropping. Yeah. Y'all got me now. Oh yeah, we got you, pal. Yep. I lost. Right. I lost first. Classic stream. Classic. All right, man. I flip this shit. You got fucked up by a chromanticore, bro. Dude, oh, so hard. <laughs> it's so, it hurts so bad. Your breakfast. <laughs> it hurts um, so bad. I'll play Grasslands Tapped as my land for a turn. <laughs> we'll pay uh, one. Sorry, uh, did so... you draw a card because the monarch? I did not. Thank oh, you. good. Yeah, he needs so, more, more, <laughs> more blinky shit in his hand. It's blue, black, <laughs> uh, green, this and is what these decks do. one other. I'm, I'm fully in top deck mode. They just drain you of all so, resources slowly. They lock down the board slowly. They fucking eventually play, start playing uh, in slowly. Arkelos, <laughs> Lagoon, Mystic. You got, you got exiled again. <laughs> this time completely. 
Okay. Jesus. Uh, How about now? You're back, right? Okay. All right. Um, let's flip around again. Um, so I play the Arkelos, Lagoon Mystic. As long as Arkelos is tapped, other permanents enter the battlefield tapped, and as long as it's untapped, other permanents enter um, the battlefield untapped. I said Dirtle, and you summon the turtle. <laughs> and then I will plus up the my Jared, Kavu, and then I will pass the turn. Untaps. Draw card. Attack step. Yup. Swing a dino. <laughs> um. Uh, I'll march them both. Cool. Your turn. All right. Um. Untap, upkeep. I'll put two plus one counters on the uh, Tomb of Horrors Adventurer. Draw for turn. Uh, Plains land for turn. Um, go to combat. Uh, three, six, and. 13 uh, plus 10. That's 23 at Joel. Uh, when Dar attacks, I venture into the dungeon. Joel, you'll lose five life on the attack. I am dead. <laughs> um. I mean, t technically, I guess I can just keep doing stuff like that now maybe <laughs> um on the attack i got a clue um all right i had to tick down the out of time uh go to the end step teleport circle hit the archaeomancer to get march back draw a card for monarch pass turn Untap. That 16 turn phase out on a commander is pretty brutal, chat. Draw uh, draw card for turn. I will play Frontier Bivouac untapped. Because of Arkelos. I will tap yeah. and sacrifice the grasslands. To get um, a planes or four star planes, but in response to me tapping, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, never mind. Let me go ahead and get that. All right. Uh, here's a forest. Cool. I'll shuffle. Yes, out of time did add a ton of time to the game. Paradoxical name. <laughs> Okay. Uh, Dino, did you draw a card for Munner? I did, yes. Okay, cool. I'll play a Far Seek, tap two, I'll get the land to thin the deck. Uh, Plains, Island, Swamp, or Mountain? Uh, just... Buzzfuzz. Um, rules what question. What up? Uh, Tide Hollow Sculler was phased out, but now that Joel's dead, do I get my Beast with him back? Yes. Who was phased okay. out? Sorry, say that again. Tide Hollow Sculler, which exiled Beast Within from my hand. It's a weird um, commander rules question, because Tide Hollow Sculler exiled Beast Within from his hand, 
until Todd Scott Todd Hollow Scuttler left the battlefield. Oh, you should have gotten it back when you phased it out, right? Because it's no, no longer on the battlefield. No, no, it's still exiled. Oh. Phasing yeah. is such a fun okay. mechanic. They should print it more. <laughs> I'll, uh, uh, I'll, the, I think they are. I, le I legitimately think they are. Oh, good. It's the same way I'll, to permanently exile a commander. Do I'll like take Jared Gikavu. Regeneration. That All doesn't right. make sense to anybody. Phase it out. Turn. That's what we do here. All right. Um, end of your turn. I'm going to march all four of your creatures. Sure. <laughs> um, I'll also crack the clue. Venture into the dungeon to draw a card. Draw a card from the clue. Um, yep. Go to my turn. Untap. On the upkeep, I venture through the Undercity, reveal the top 10, throw a creature down. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Right on the money. Uh, Mavinda, y Varus, not a creature, 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 not a creature. How All right. damage do you um, need to kill him? 60. Um, I'm going to throw down Varus, Silvery Moon Ranger. Uh, reach ward one three three whenever I cast a creature or planeswalker I venture into the dungeon can only trigger once per turn and whenever I complete a dungeon I create a two two green wolf Jank catch you later Later Jank Yeah, I think Dino's got this one too Yeah Classic right. bant stabilization uh, well, I mean, at this three point, hours the, the Ar I don't think we need literally Draw anything else turn. other than the Archeum answer teleportation circle miss swirling miss loop Yep. That's literally yeah. game. Unless Squatch can figure out a way through that. Teleportation circle getting removed would be pivotal. But Squatch removed the green player. Um, first. Annihilation that style. That was brutal. I mean, yep. when you think, Squatch, when you think about it, like if I unleash the board, he, you know, it would have been you and me, Joel. So well, he's he got, had to. He's still he got divine coming. ship. Norwegian ships in his hand whatever it's called <laughs> and so it would have just come yeah, right, right back it didn't matter yeah this blink all oh, right dude. um blink triggers me worse than any mechanic no. <laughs> I just wanted to venture in the dungeon I didn't expect this uh -huh. uh, yeah, sure. uh, yeah he said with his archaeomancer to... teleportation circle <laughs> swirling I run swirling miss in my deck I didn't see this coming <laughs> <laughs> all right uh go to combat uh this can't attack uh but it does have three counters on it all right so that's two uh so that's two at you three at jared um that's another okay so i'm gonna so three is going at jared the rest is going at you which is gonna be two six nine uh, plus 10 is 19. On attack, I venture into the dungeon. We'll go for, uh, Tomb of Annihilation, so we each lose one life on the attack. And I get a clue. Um. Alright, um, I'll... A two, crack the clue, venture into the dungeon. Each player loses two <laughs> life unless they discard a card. Oh. Discard right. a planes. Draw from the clue. Um, Check the two. For three, I'll play Soul Herder. <laughs> uh, da 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 da. Um, go to end step, exile the Mancer and the Nadar. Mist. Yep, get back the mist. Venture. Um, whenever it's exiled from the battlefield. So, two. Yeah, so, uh, Sandfall Cell. Each player loses two life unless they sack an artifact, creature, or land. I will sacrifice a I'll sack a planes. Um, and done. Squash, Dino, how many cards in your hand? Dino, are you still the monarch? I'm just top decking. Yes, draw for monarch. 
draw for turn or untap draw for turn why not why not oh well we're gonna take this um i will your creatures are phased back in sure if it correct they're just gonna get phased right back out again so correct so i'm just gonna leave them over here to correct. the side <laughs> Shit, i'm playing okay Tap three, search for tomorrow, basic lane card, put it on the battlefield, then shovel. Basic land, basic land, find me a basic land. There we go. Okay. And um Well hang on, so you still do have the creatures. They, you have to keep the they pressure can attack, on. yeah. Okay. Because at this point, I mean if you're not doing the creatures, it's a can you might as well concede. But I just don't think there's anything. I mean, you're gonna have to top deck a, a board wipe. Yeah. And get Jared through. Parked up. No, he's got divine intervention. Yep. So it's it's two all remo it's all a moot point. Yeah, I just say it's worth three hours in. I am good with that. <laughs> Let's just right. see. Oh, I wasn't trying uh, to convince you to concede. Yeah, I I've already just, conceded. It's fine. It's all good. I'm just saying that <laughs> no, there's it's quite good. a no, web it's gonna... of lies to get through over there. Yep. GG's. I'm good with that. <laughs> GG's. Good job. Good all job, right. Donnie. Uh, apologize to all your significant others for me. Jesus. All right, chat. I, Holy crap. Marathon style. I feel like my... I feel like my Patreon account is suddenly going to get <laughs> removed from the Jake and Joel. Good job, Don. is like, why did Jake and Joel delete their Discord? Yeah, weird. Mm, everybody weird. else is still in here. Weird. That's so strange. GG's. Excellent, eh? Thank you so much for your time, everybody. I never was... assessed you as yeah. threat, and then you Thank suddenly you. couldn't be poked. Oof. Yeah, that's how I feel about that deck too. Chat, give it up for a good job, Dino, winning that one. Zach taking the first Elam on the chin and Squatch. Five coloring. Continue to five color. Squatch, you probably rebuilt the most. It was close. It was close. You I cast a Jared uh six times. Jeez. There you go. That's a bounty. It's absolutely wild. It's absolutely wild. Yeah, and uh and uh, Zach had first blood. There you go. Hey. And and uh, I'll give the uh, Chromanticore MVP. Yeah, I'd agree to that. That works for me as well. Chat, if you want to play a three-hour game where somebody <laughs> loops a bunch of bunch of phase-out stuff over and over again, join the Commander League. <laughs> it's a great time. <laughs> Hashtag teleportation a... circle Archaeomancer. <laughs> it actually is a very fun time. Fellas, <laughs> GG's. Ugh. That was, you, like I said, very brutal, but that was a hella fun game. It was. Really, thank you, Joel. Was. Was thank y'all. All, all right. Y'all have a good I night. I to everyone, but also thank you. <laughs> night, everyone. <laughs> no worries, man. Good game. Chat. Good game. I hope that everybody had a bucket of fun and a quart of milk. I hope that you all have a wonderful <laughs> night. I'm 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 done with it. Is there anybody Buzzfuzz, you're still here. How you doing? I am tired. I have so much things to watch now. That was like, was that was a long one. Long. Oh. Yeah, he had it in the bag for a while, but I was like secretly hoping for Zach to win. I think when Zach went out, that was all hope of it was going to take all three of us sort of focusing Dino down. And when Zach went out, I just I completely just got absolutely 
slowly picked apart i had such good board state i think my my biggest play mistake in that now, I missed some stuff, obviously. It's Magic the Gathering. But I think the play that I would take back was the... Was the uh, cleansing... Whatever the... What was the board wipe I did? Uh, austere Command. Austere Command. If I had paid more attention before I cast that, I didn't get enough value out of that. Oh, 100%. <laughs> that was sort of the and i destroyed my adjudicator which was my best tool against all of the blink stuff happening yeah, was to sure. ace it as it was getting blinked that's the one that i kept thinking going back to in my brain going that's why no, that was my zach biggest survived, mistake had zach survived he had the mana to like cast a giant spell and he had just drawn a shit ton of cards yeah so he would have just won the next turn had he survived so zach you had it on the next turn well he's he's out of the discard but yeah oh yeah 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 i mean that's pretty much what i had gone to was i can't beat dino but i have kept my life total pretty high and that was pre chromanticore like gaining <laughs> gaining squash like 20 life that chromantic court did not want to die it was like <laughs> i will be back i did everything a... i could dude too many keyword soup on there too much had to die but it's those little like bant value engine decks that just all their little pieces add up to this web that is so annoying to pick through but on the way there you're not assessing them as threats so i think that's what i learned here is one of the most difficult parts of commander which is continue trying to improve my threat assessment because i was going i mean squatch there was just way too much value coming off the planeswalker i just i felt forced to attack squatch's board every turn because i had armix that could kill something and then the menace mattered and i could get through and just pick his board apart continuously I mean, you definitely spent too much time on Squatch, in my opinion. Yeah. There's definitely way more other threats on the board compared to him. Yeah, there was one turn where it was, do I do I pick Squatch down again and keep Squatch at zero? So it's just a threat I don't have to worry about the game. You know, because that's a strategy, right? If somebody's... It's brutal, but if somebody's having a slow start, if somebody's having you know, just continuous wipes, keeping them down is probably in your best interest, especially if it's like side swiping, you know, uh, I board wipe some shit, but I keep you off the board too. And then yes and that's no. speaking more competitively, obviously. And we're in a league setting. I play more competitively in a league setting on purpose. But yes and no, because the, the amount of value he was getting compared to all of the little puzzle pieces well that wasn't there yeah. yet i'm telling you it wasn't there yet it was the rko answer that i couldn't answer no, it was like the tempo the the, the teleportation circle that was the that, that was the go. second one down didn't i kill one of them that's mine right there shua you killed it but he brought it back with the cosmic intervention that's what it was he would have been dead if I would have got to swing at him, but that uh, out of time is what got us. And I didn't have a big spell in my hand. I was pretty much Dude, dead. The out of, Hey, what's up, Sean? The out of time is so brutal because you got to have it's an instant really speed important. sack outlet or, I mean, it's honestly against out of time phasing. I think that's why I complain about phasing so much because it's just against the spirit of the format. They literally banned cards. No, they just changed the rule altogether. When tucking was a thing, I don't know how long you children have been playing commander, but back in my day, if you tucked their commander, that was it. That commander was in the library. You got to have a tutor or something, but that's phasing now. Yeah, out of time, underrated board right. Seriously. So seriously and yeah. then i was like oh well at least it comes back 16 turns later that's the permanent that's permanent that ain't coming back yeah 
it was a good game though it really was halfway through i was like i'm gonna be able to say this was a really good game because it just kept going kept going kept turning kept turning the worst part is the pr worst part is with out of time is had you found a removal for it he had cosmic intervention to constantly just yeah yeah well i mean that was that was the problem with any removal is we had to basically have two removals both at instant speed to get you know tricky with the stack and that was the only way that we were going to be able to pull out of that 100 percent. however which is what i was talking comes... about with my adjudicator i fucking killed my own adjudicator idiot <laughs> Because I thought I was going to get more value and catch the Chromanicore in the sideswipe. Nope. No, you definitely had that one good move where you killed something with the Judicator. Because you were like, haha, got you here. Yes. That was a good move. Thank you. Occasionally I do those. It's rare. Zach, what were you going to say? Zach, you're muted. Well anyway chat ggs i hope everybody had a good time it's 12 18 i gotta get up at seven in the morning yeah. i'm gonna go do yeah. my nightly s and s no it's brush my teeth because i don't need to shower I already showered hey. i'm gonna brush my teeth and take a shit and go to bed that's what i'm gonna do <laughs> all right good night big dog enjoy zach gg Buzz, thank you for your help. Thank you, too. Chat. Have a good night. Love you all. Sorry for talking about pooping. <laughs> Peace.